Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So I've started up a Mountain Dwarf Ice Elementalist. I'm going to see how this one goes. Hopefully it goes all right. Uh, I remember they start with the freeze, which is quite short range. And uh, let things walk up to you, which is never the best. Oh, there's a Quokka. I should definitely pull these guys back. A Quokka would just kind of... Well, if it was with the other guy, I think it would murder me. Yeah, like, took two magic points to kill the Quokka, two magic points to kill the other guy, and I've already got three. Uh, stock has improved. Did I give you another magic point? No, why not? I guess I gotta get another point of spell casting to improve my magic points. Can't remember the exact formula. It's, uh, I know the first eight points are more effective. It's like, what? It's more than one magic point every two levels, right? I can't remember exactly what it is. At least leveling up gives me magic points. It might spell the third level, right? The um, frozen armor and the frozen ramparts. Yeah. Am I stealthy? I'm surely not stealthy. I got two stealth. It's a little bit, I guess, because I'm just wearing a robe. Whoa. It's a bunch of dudes. Glad I got to second level before meeting that ambush. Oh, it's a spell book. Hey, maybe we'll have some ice spells for me. Probably not, but there's a chance. It's got Blast Modes, Formative Prism, and Mystic Blast. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Formative Prism's alright, but I probably won't go for it. I need to find these guys up here. I don't want to lead them around. Ooh, there's more than I thought. I should have grabbed something to bash with, although I think I could just punch a rat or whatever. Let's see if there are any weapons on... Oh, that's not searching for weapons. Any weapons on the ground? It's a little dagger, it's a little mace. I guess I'll grab a little dagger because I'm not exactly skilled at any weapons at the moment. Ah, uh, that's a lot of guys. Can't throw some ramparts just yet either. Because that would be kind of a good spot for it. It's like them all come in and get frozen, but no. That's next level to 93% of the way up, so it shouldn't take too long. There we go. Get some in. Get some spells, although I should retreat back somewhere to get the spells, because there's probably more creatures around there. Uh, definitely the frozen ramparts. So there's still 11% failure on it. Oh, I can't get the other cues of armor until I either get more spell casting or level up again or something. Uh, I guess I grabbed the scale mail. I won't put it on yet. But there will be a time where I can cast spells in heavier armor. That's kind of the whole plan of this character. But obviously, I'd want to have my spells cast more there at the start. Oh. Right, well, that level one wasn't too bad. Got me plenty of XP as well. You don't always get to third level before you go down. I know getting to just second level is reasonably common. I don't think I've ever got fourth level in the first level of the dungeon, though. That would certainly be a lot of XP, but no, I don't think I've done that yet. I'll try my frozen ramparts. Let's see how that goes. Are there any new cold spells? I don't think so, right? I mean, it froze that guy reasonably well. That dagger, not special. Checking. Checking is not a dagger fan. At least I got a tiny bit of range now. With the frozen ramparts, they used to have no range at all. Oh, that should freeze this guy. Not quite. That's the problem with the like, cold guys. Um, when they're not their walls, they can't really do a lot early on. Oh, there goes the miscast. At least that doesn't matter. Whoops. Shouldn't have brought that guy away from the ball. That was a little bit silly. Uh, might as well quiver out this. Oh, wait, why does it not let me quiver out the first rap pass? It's 9% failure. It's not even that dangerous. I guess it just thinks it's dangerous because they don't have that many hit points. Which, I don't know. I'm kind of wishing that it would just base it on, like, the actual failure chance instead of some obscure formula involving max hit points. Because it often feels way off. Like, I've had times where it doesn't want me at all when I'm trying to cast a spell with, like, 90. 7% failure or something. And other times with wands because I try to cast a spell with 7% failure or something. It just doesn't feel quite right. Uh, 
All right, let's pull these back into the corridor. The Madasa might follow. There we go. I just wanted it to follow enough that it would get in my frozen rampart. Well, strength that. I mean, I will wear armor, so I guess that's helpful. Uh, one out of range, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. But it's a little hard to work out the range of the frozen ramparts because it already affects walls um, and areas around the walls. So, like, if I try casting it here, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't affect, like, a lot of areas around me. I might just bring one of these up. Sometimes they get just, like, a little bit less range. What is this character going to do against ogres? Uh, actually, I should get the Ozicuba's armor, shouldn't I? Oh, I've got some ice beast as well. Uh, hmm. I'll start with the Ozicuba's armor, but I might have to get that summon ice beast going fairly soon. Though it's not massively great against the ogre, because they tend to just die to it, but hey, it does something. Uh, can I put on some... No, I don't think I'll put on the frozen armor. Yeah, because I knew my spell was going to wear off. So I'm getting kind of low on magic points. Well, I actually just don't have a lot to start with. I'm back up. I did a pretty good jo job of killing those guys, but I don't want to be sitting out there running out of magic points. Do I need javelins? I'll pick them up, but I don't think I really do. Because I... Well, I guess I could get some throwing skill. Oh, I'm slowed. Um, I also can't do a lot of part of backup and summer with actual corridors. Now I can put it on my frozen armor. There we go. I mean, Jessica doesn't live very well. She's only got, what, like, nine, eight hit points in a red one. So I know it's just not much. So I wouldn't expect her to survive very long. I wasn't notice. I was hoping it, oh, it still died to the first ramparts. Yeah, that's kind of what I was hoping would happen. I thought we would just run up and die. I wonder what determines the duration of the first ramparts. It's probably determined by, um, my power on it. I should definitely put on the fire into the starber. Ooh, that's worth for Venom. It's fine, because that means I can actually use that one. I think they're pretty fast attacking. 1.1 attack to like, yeah, that's pretty quick. Mm, that's tight here. Should work. I found that casting the ramparts before the things moved into it isn't really worthwhile. Because it doesn't seem to always be faithful the first time turn unless the creature's like always in it. Um I don't know exactly how it works, but that's just what I've kind of found by using it. More than anything else. Alright, dungeon level 3 is done. Haven't found the Ashen Zariolders, but... Ooh, that's not a huge surprise. That's Edmund. I don't think I'm ready for an Edmund fight. Um, Especially not there when there's no walls. I guess I have a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. I mean, it's a very appropriate song to go with this uh, character. So what's up, uh, so I know how pals are going. Oh, I want to get out of this net. I should have just spent my turn waiting, because then I'd never get out. I don't know, I always feel like you should just be able to get out of nets by waiting, but I guess in theory you could not want to struggle out of a net. I don't know if there's a reason for it. It's fine. Yup. No. Would it be warmer than where you are? Because for me, it's... <coughs> We got a cold recently. Oh, I want to get out. Get me out of here. Oh, let's bash this guy. I think one of them ran away, right? I don't see the cobalt anymore. Oh, hey, Edmund. What's up, Edmund? He's got a... Oh, he's got scale mail fire resistance, which is all right. A flail of draining. Does 17 damage plus 8 draining? Yeah, I don't think I'd take him out just yet. Oh, it's 30 plus degrees at the moment? Yeah, that's pretty hot. <laughs> I don't think it's it to be... I mean, that's still, like... Survivable, but... It's definitely getting up there. Alright, come on, Cobalt. I think I'm back to where Edmund was, though. 
Uh, how much? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got 10 magic points. Hmm. Oh, the rain and storms in the evening? So it's kind of gone like full on tropical with all the storms. Well, pretty much. So you don't even, I don't even get like the nice weather. Because like if it's nice weather at 30 degrees, that's pretty nice. Oh, is that? Can I tell what gods they are by examining it? No, I don't actually go up to it, don't I? Yeah, well. <laughs> it's fine. It's probably not Ash and Zari anyway. Oh, Europe gets lots of rain this year? Oh, I mean, at least it's not going to be like a drought where the water supply runs out or something. But yeah, it doesn't sound like it's the best weather ever. Is that? That's a ghost. I can't deal with that yet. It's A5TP's ghost. A gargoyle fighter of Okawaro. Don't think I've ever seen them before. Well, they do like 27 damage. They have about the same health as me. So they're going to be pretty rough to take out. Oh, it's good. We, you had a drought the last three years. Right, so you definitely do need the do need the water topped up again. Yeah, it was like that in uh, New Zealand as well. There was like a drought and running out of water and then we got floods one year. It's like, oh, hey, water supplies are topped up again. Well, at least that's something. That sounded rushing water. It's like you're getting water in-game as well. Uh, I might as well put on my armor. Wait, oh, it did come be an armor. Why did that guy- oh, the guy didn't move up because it was slowed, that makes sense, because they slowed it with a cold. I was wondering what we're done there, I was like, wait, why did that do anything? Like, why did that guy move up? Alright, level up. Uh, I still don't know where I'm trying to go, it's still very distant. Ah, not quite. Do I put on my freezing armor? I guess so. Just worry because it takes me down two magic points. Oh, got three magic points. Good. Just had enough magic points there. Uh, Drain's still very distant. It's a no. I guess I can freeze the no. Oh, not quite. Yeah, they're going to have to heal up upstairs, I think. There's just too many guys. Hey, guys. Um, Go here. Should die. Uh, I think I'll give it another turn. Yeah, it still didn't damage me, so I'll give it another one. There we go. Because I could go up at any time. Oh, hey, Sally. How's it going? Oh, uh, still very distant, right? Okay. If you got any good characters going and crawl there, Sally? Also, congrats on, like, second place on the uh, cruel cosplay tournament. Oh, whoa, gnolls. Airless gnolls. Also, that might be my sewer. Got, like, sewer water there. Um, oh, don't dispersal trap me, guy. I guess I just bought the little guy. It feels silly, but... I don't think I can get those gnolls yet, unfortunately. Oh, hey, Edmund. Now's not a good time, Edmund. Where was it? It was around here somewhere. Are you going for armor? I think I will eventually, yeah. They'll definitely eventually go for armor there. It's more in hope. Oh, you're shattering right now, Sally? Oh, it's a good time? Man. Shatter's a fun spell. It's just a shame it doesn't affect, like, flying things properly, but that makes sense. That has some weakness. Although it is actually reasonably unusual for, like, 9th level spells to have too much of a weakness. Alright. Guess I better just head back to these gnolls, right? Because that looked like my sewer. And the drain's there, fine now, so yeah, it's definitely the right direction. I can't quite freeze it from there. Um, There we go, that's better. How long have I got? Quick rusting, very little time. But these sewers usually have walls here, don't they? Although, the ice is a little bit hard to see sometimes. Um, oh, come on. Don't miscast on me. Oh, did it miscast? I guess so. Quick crossing a drain. Where is it? Not this way. It's gotta be around this one last corner. Do I try to get my magic points back? It was quick rusting. 
Oh, I, I should identify my stuff. Hold on, give me a second. I gotta go in, though, because otherwise it's gonna just break on me. Oh, if it worked and everything, uh, you'd be way too good for a single school. Yeah, definitely. Because it affects, like, the whole screen, so it is uh, definitely pretty decent. All right, well, uh, wait, hold on. I was going to read the scrolls. There we go. Identify. I left that a little late. What have we got? A trash and not the most useful. Oh, hearing's excellent. Lignification. I might use. I should deal with this while this coming along as well. Got some fog. Oh, yeah. Right. I've got three more scrolls. What do I do? I might just do three of these scrolls. So I got teleport, fear, and vulnerability. It feels good to be able to use scrolls again after that headmaster challenge. Uh what have we got here? Got noise, alright. Uh QR isn't it? Needs to be one closer. Got my armor on, good. I think I've got everything that I need. Oh, I miscast my freezing. That's a problem. I'm just gonna have to like hit this guy with a mini freeze. Like the not the frozen ramparts one. I've only got 3%, 4% failure on these. Can I get anything else? Oh, right, the Summon Ice Beast. I should totally get that one. That was always a good spell. Even if I'm probably not going to go into summoning. I mean, maybe if I see Dragon School or something, I might get into summoning if I had some things to carry me over and stuff. Um... Yeah, I think that's going perfectly fine. None of them had curare, so that always helps because I don't get slowed down and... Well, I guess I do theoretically get horribly poisoned, but I don't get slowed at least. Anything, anything, daggers. Nah, I've got all the potions that this uh, sewer had, so that wasn't too bad. I love how the enemies are that smart about the frozen ramparts. Like, that one totally could have avoided the frozen ramparts if it wanted to. It just, uh, didn't. Yeah, so you can kind of... Because they tend to go in straight direction, uh, like, straight lines, the enemies. So you can kind of pull them into your frozen ramparts in a lot of situations. Oh, where's it gone? Might just go to the staircase. I'll take a couple of attacks. There we go. Do I pull off another one? I don't think I do. Because that's not the best staircase in terms of, um, like, walls around it. Oh, whoops. I pulled it back one too much, but, oh, well. Ah, no, it's not working. Gotta go up. Unfortunately, not doing enough damage to kill any of those. Uh... And I've now got an Ice Beast as well I can do. It's Tempsim failure. I might give it a try. So I like end up miscasting a couple of times and using up all my magic points or something. Ah, oh, just heal up. Whatever. Upstairs, where's that rat gone? Alright, next. No, I guess. I'll go back. Does this staircase... It's not even the best spot for fighting because, uh... Nowhere to freeze them. I guess neither is this. Oh, wait, it could have frozen that guy. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I guess I can freeze it here. Also, I should probably get my magic back. But I reckon I'm good enough to kill Edmund now. And he had some armor that could be decent. We'll, we'll see. Oh, got to go back down this one anyway. Because that doesn't even lead anywhere. Oh, wait. Uh, Ice Beast. There we go. Oh, if you can train Earth, it's slightly easier to cast Shatter than Hellfire Mortar? Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess it depends on, like, your aptitude and, like, fire or something, but that is actually interesting. Because I guess on single school spells, you get a lot of help in terms of getting them castable. It doesn't list any spellcasting chances here, does it? But it would... About the same protectiveness, slightly more. Let's try it on. 
That barely made any difference. Okay, 30% fail on the ice piece? Yeah, I'll go with that. I want to see how destructive challenge to, to one hope. It's, um, it's one of the, the cosplay challenges, except it was like a super hard one. So you had to, like, get a potion. No, what was it? Get a rune without using potions and scrolls. Um, and eventually you ended up doing a ziggurat, but I didn't quite get to that point because unfortunately I died. <laughs> Which was really sad. I had to get like 15 runes as well, so it was requiring a reasonable amount of runes. Uh, runes. I'm not going to move here. I'm just going to stay where I am. Ooh. He's got a wand of mind burst? Okay, good. The ice beast is in a good spot. Oh, this is bad, though. What do I have? Curari? Does that affect him? Usually does, right? Oh, he's immune to poison. Oh, because he's a vampire. Huh. Well, that's... Hmm. Brains of you. Oh, with Gozak? Unfortunately not, no. The, the god choices were actually interesting on the head and strike the challenge. So, uh, I might just head him see that didn't quite work. So you had to you had to go through a list of three gods, like Dithmanos, Bjorg, and Eurodelimdal, I think. And you had to worship all three of them in the challenge, like going through all the god routes and everything. And there was Beard Wrath and uh, I think, yeah, that nearly killed me. It got me down to like one hit point with a smite, which was really bad. Uh, where's the Ash and Zari altar? It's a big enough temple. There it is. I don't know if Link's work. It should work. It looks like it's worked. Alright, Ash and Zari, what do you got for me? I don't I should use this um identify scroll while I've so got a use for it. Charm weapon? Uh no, nah, hold on to that. I don't know. Could theory put on this whip. I do like use this whip a little bit. That's okay, I'll put on my armor. Alright. Yeah, having the ice beast out the front is definitely ideal. The only problem is, like, when it decides to go run up into an area where I can't get it with the frozen ramparts. Oh, no, well. You can't, uh, exactly control what your ice beast decides to do. I wonder how bad it would be playing the game if, like, uh, your allies could swap with you. And your ice beast would just f throw you all over the place. That sounds really terrible. Anyway, let me get the, uh, do I get the hailstorm? Hailstorm always feels kind of disappointing, but it does also work with the Ice Beast. Like, you can bring out the Ice Beast and then Hailstorm that guy. Um, my help is like Ogres. Oh, ow. Miscast is not a good spot for one. Uh, okay. This dude's kind of hard to take out. Yeah, because he does that. Now he's blocking my retreat. Um, oh no. I get out of to teleport. <laughs> uh, There's just a man carry around the corner. Well, I killed a butterfly, but that doesn't help me out that much. Uh, what do I do against man carry? I mean, I got like some wands, maybe. I got paralysis. I don't know, but yeah, that was not a good spot to get sandwiched between two uniques. I'm gonna just go to sleep. I should have a nice piece, definitely. Alright, there he is again. Don't know if the paralysis works. 50%? I'm gonna try. Oh, come on. Well, the Ice Beast fighting it because it's more effective than I am. I don't think my freezing walls do a lot against Meg Curry. He's pretty sure he's resistant. Hey, so don't know where Jeremiah is, but hopefully not close by because I don't want to fight him. Even if I can't kill his butterflies. Oh, right. Uh, my wall just wears off as I'm waiting for that guy. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. I remember these these guys, the uh, white speed of problem. I just had to like slowly kill them with the ice beast. So I was a cold carrot, don't I? Don't think I've really got other options. So we've seen them work actually reasonably well in the first one. Right, third ice beast, maybe? Nope. Gonna take at least four ice beasts. Okay, four ice beasts is reasonable though. It doesn't quite got to the ridiculous level. Um I don't even know if this guy's next to the wall or not. I gotta try freezing it. Oh, it doesn't help that I miscast. What have we got here? We've got lightning spire. Oh, would it be good if you find a source of... Uh, would it be good if you found a source of pulling? Yeah, it could be. But I got a potion of attraction if I want to live dangerously. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, what is there, lesser beckoning or something that you could use to pull guys in and then get rid of them that way? What if I mean to play Mountain Dwarf? Um, I wanted to do Ash and Zari as a spellcaster, and Mountain Dwarfs can curse things as... Ash and, like, uh, enchant curse things. So, that was kind of my thought process. Um, I need to run up this way. Oh, whoops. No, I don't. How did I not notice that that was a dead end? I checked it out and everything. Oh, that was silly of me. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. I checked it out, like, specifically to check if it was dead end. It's like, oh, that's not a dead end. Oh, it might do some damage as it's running past it. I don't know, I didn't quite do enough. I just armor up for a little bit. There we go. If they focus on me for a little while, my ice beast boy die at least. Um, yeah, I guess I should just go up. Wait, like mesmerize? What's like uh, some mesmerize here? Oh, like, is a way to, wait, if I could, like, mesmerize things and pull them in that way, it might be useful, that could be good. But no, I'm just a little dwarf. Do any players ever get mesmerized? Is there anything equivalent for a player? I'm not sure there is. Uh, I'm trying to think, but, like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that mesmerizes enemies. Oh, well. Uh, the little, uh, what is it, like, the little butcher guy with those hogs? He's got his, uh, like, random meat as well in there. I think there's some gear with it. Oh, there's gear that can mesmerize the player, right? Um, like, the, the obsidian edge, eggs. Oh, traction potion is the close. Yeah, I guess the traction potion kind of is fairly equivalent. Can I freeze those walls? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, yeah, there's a little boss sausages here. I got adder an jerky. I find it kind of funny when there's like pig set and you just get adder an jerky off it. Like, that doesn't quite check out. Ooh. Valley combat and companions. Uh, companions is vaguely useful. Let's dump this on. Uh... I mean, it's not that great. Let's just dump it on my weapon, I guess. Hopefully, I don't need to replace that one in a hurry. I'll just armor up and fight this guy for a little while. Yeah, there we go. I was like, the avatars mesmerize this trick because the avatars will pull you into the water, right? So it is kind of similar. Wait, oh, wrong spell. Ah. Because then I have to break my eyes. Oh, well, it's fine. Sometimes you do cast things in the wrong order. Uh, where's that centaur? Centaur? There we go. Ooh, a steam dragon. Um, I'm gonna throw an ice piece at it, but it's not perfect. Oh, I just absolutely died. Okay. I guess I'll just, I've got, actually got fire resistance. What am I worried about there? I should be absolutely fine. We need uh, player mesmerize for when animals used to flee at low HP. 
Yeah, I remember, like, enemies used to be way more annoying in this game. Animals fleeing, imps blinking around like a little randoms. Yeah, definitely, uh... Great that enemies kind of just run up to you now. Because the thing is, like, they run away and they just, like, come back later on, so you keep on just bumping into things all the time, interrupting your rest. Um... Wait. No, it's not gonna work. That's better. Ooh. Ah, uh, stay where I am for a little while. Oh, it did die my ice piece. Okay. But the other guy I could go with a curari dodge. Huh, I see. Trying to keep away from this guy, but I kind of didn't manage very well. I kind of had a couple of attack, a chance of attacking me, I think. And wait, uh, potions of attraction would have existed back then, right, when the animals ran away. Did those... When were potions of attraction added? I don't remember them being a thing before, but maybe I just didn't use them before. Um... Yeah, well, that was a bad idea. Azot with fleeing dragons and infinite summon spawns or monster spawns? That would be kind of... <laughs> uh, it would certainly be something. Whoops, I don't want to walk. I wanted to kill that guy, but it was already dead. Potion of Trash is very new. Yeah, I definitely don't remember it being a thing before. Oh no, why do you get to dive every time? Did the, I guess the dragon said you used to flee away. It just doesn't feel like a dragon thing to do, just running away. But I guess it was. Um... Uh, I guess I can freeze something here, because I think there's still a guy here, right? Maybe not. Why are these guys are warping? I'll pull it back around this corner. I don't think it followed me. Well, I mean, it pretty obviously did. There it is. <laughs> oh... Goodbye, Ice Beast. Go warp down there. At least it was just the kobold with the wand of warping, because now I've got the wand of warping. And I didn't have to find anything too tough. Are those following good? Oh, it's out of my ice range. Oh, it replaced the agility, right? Because in theory, it's meant to be a stabbing thing. That's right. I remember, like, agility being a thing vaguely. In fact, isn't there still something that can give you agility, even if it's just, like, zombie or something? Um, because... I remember, I'm sure that there's seen something. And it might have actually been zombie that gives agility still. <laughs> I don't know, it would totally be a zombie thing to do, to give a removed game effect, right? Come on. My eyes are just dying. Oh, well, I'll just try buffing up. There we go. Introspection devices, that's good, curse. What can I put it on, though? Boots, I guess? Because I'll probably be keeping the boots around. Ooh, got a chart down, we've got two of it. What else have we got? Chart weapons, lots of things. I don't need the degeneration. Oh, maybe chaos can give it? Because you've seen agility on monsters. Yeah? I mean, that could be possible. Or just not giving it to them directly? I mean, that's also a possibility. Yeah, there's definitely, I definitely know I've seen something to do with agility. I just don't remember what it was. Uh... Oh, Zold still casts the divination spells, right? Because he has the one where he peeks around and shows you all the creatures, doesn't he? So he's got some, definitely some old tool spells. And I think, I think he can give you evokers, like the evocable items that are exclusive for the ones you've got as well. Just cause why not? <laughs> I'm not gonna break my armor. I know there's a guy there. It's even showing me there's a guy there. I find it silly when it says it's gonna break your armor, even though it's like literally showing that it's right there. Oh, Mally Combat Fortitude. Um... Not the most useful, right? 
Oh, let me examine this. It does armor, shields, and melee combat. See, I wouldn't put it on W. I just don't have much. I'll put it on my ring. Oh, cloak. Nice. Oh, minus cost. Come on. I can't wear that. Oh, well. That's fine. I just wanted something to curse. Oh, wait. Where's my ice feast? There it is. Are you rolling Chaos Knights so you get to see some of them? Maybe, I don't know. Chaos Knights are always really hard. Maybe I should play one, though. I feel like uh, using Magic to crawl here with a character that's not too bad. Ooh, is this electric or is this poison? That's actually not too bad. Do I break my current curse to put this on? I think I do. It does have random corrode, but resist poison is really nice. I'm gonna have to break my whip. Goodbye, whip. Yeah, well. I'll curse it up with the next curse I get. Ooh, no, I'm just Did I get conjuration this character? Not yet. Uh, there's also a servitor, but there's also a conjuration thing. In fact, both of those kind of go together. Live dangerously. The orbs of destruction going everywhere. Well, at least I get some gloves to curse. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Ah, they're all whites as well. Uh... Okay, it's going all right, but I might just move back. <laughs> it's not quite managing to retreat properly, but that's all right. Yeah, it's fine. I was a bit uh, kinder earlier since hostile summons scale with XL. I know the dumb summons tend to be pretty bad. Have they changed them up at all? Or are they still like just as bad? Because I know you just get like, I know they like do scale, but sometimes you just get a random sun demon thrown at you or something. You have no fire at this. And that uh, can end a run. I've definitely had a uh, zomb runs into that before. I don't really need these morning stars or anything. Oh, I can't drop a sun demon super early. Right. Right, that's kind of nice. Oh, whoops. Ah! Did my spell the wrong order again? Of course I did. Ah, oh, that's fine. Those are just yaks, and they all freeze at once. Oh, hey, Joseph. Why has he got that guy with him? That's not one of the Joseph's pack guys or anything. In fact, he doesn't even have a pack. Oh, well, I'm sure this is fine. I got poison resist now as well, so those bees don't stand a chance. But if a bee got me out in the open, I could be in trouble. It's only because, uh... I've been in an area with walls that I'm doing alright. Oh, but you can get, like, elephants late game now? What did he used to give late game? He didn't used to give much. Well, the elephant could be pretty bad if you hadn't found anything of fire this or something. Because then, I know that you get a vault to them in the depths, and that's ended. Or nearly ended some runs. Uh, Fortune and Rage Combat. Fortune's okay, but I don't know about Rage Combat. Ah, oh, just dumped on my gloves. I got extra gloves. I can always replace them if I need to, and I definitely need the castles right now. Late Angels are just like some, uh, like, uh, ah, sun demons. I could get there eventually. No, yeah, I seem to remember the late game. Although, I know it's obvious to do something bad late game. I have no coverage this, do I? Uh, oh, that's not quite where I want the ice beast. Can't stay where I am. I think I head back. He's not freezing because I get his own guy. Um, I might just go up, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Do I know where Lair is? I do. I might just go to that one, I think. Come back for Phantom. we go Cold Resist. I mean, he's a friendly scum in summon scale, too. I guess that's alright. But the friendly... Oh, what? I can't freeze... Why can't I... Fr oh, they're too far away, I guess. Uh... But it still does sound like it would be a lot harder getting stuff later on. I'm sure he's killed me some with, like, uh, electric golems later on. Maybe he didn't summon them. But I thought he could summon electric golems and not. I thought it was bad around lair. 
already done your full Zombwind. Yeah, I've got a couple of Zombwims, but uh, yeah, definitely not something you usually play. What is that? Malik Cunning. Oh, it's not that good. I'll just put on my armor, I guess. Uh, I'll move up a little bit. I bet I might move up a bit more and just freeze these guys in the hot corridor. Are you still just, uh, wait, uh, Mayfield Shadow Creatures? Wait, uh, right. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure he's killed me, but like, one of my first attempts to try and win Zom. I'm sure I got some, like, electric golems and the character that had no electric resist and died. I don't know, it's probably just be one of those other random summoning things that he could do. And it wasn't Zod, so yeah, it would definitely fit him with Shadow Creatures. Uh, oh, you did the Feeling Summoner of Zob last tournament? For the Faded Altar, right. Huh, I don't know if I've ever got Zob off a Faded Altar, thankfully. It would be a little bit disappointing, I imagine, getting Zob on a Faded Altar. But I guess you know that there's a chance before you take the Altar, at least. Is that way, Boots? Hold on. I do have Boots, right. Self and devices, so I think my boots are actually alright with their curse as well. Oh, whoops, what did I do that for? Not much point in putting out the cold when there's nothing in it. Oh, it's close enough to the end, you just uh, risked it because you didn't know if Alter would spawn again. Yeah, fair enough, that's true. You've only got so many chances. Oh, this animate armor here. Animate armor is always fun. Do I get it? It's not a cold spell, though. Does it work in with my cold spells? I already know it's cold resist. Um, my armor's not that heavy. I'll probably. Oh, it's Earth. Got a ton of Earth spells. I got like a stone arrow. Lee's Rap Deconstruct, Magnavolt. Hmm. Wait, there's more of them as well there, isn't there? I guess there's like Sad Blast possible, yeah. Huh. I mean, there's the Earth Ice spell, so I could get a little bit of Earth. The Permafrost Eruption, or whatever it's called. Oh, wait, I should have my armor on, shouldn't I? <laughs> Otherwise, I might take a little bit of damage with these guys. Man, I should be able to get a decent armor class, although... Oh, what's this? An orb of Guile? Coldest? Doesn't the uh, freezing armor scale worse if you've already got armor? Like, heavy armor on or something? I don't actually know exactly how that works with this character. Ooh, do I have a cloak? I don't think so. Alright, another thing to curse up. Speaking of cursing, beguiling and introspection. What is beguiling again? I can never remember that one. Hex's Translocation. Uh, I'll put this on, but uh, will I use Hex's Translocation? Uh, maybe. That's the source, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. But she died, so it's alright. <laughs> Also, it does give less AC. Yeah, I'll try it on to, uh, just quickly. So it's 4 AC. So I think my other cuban armor is about the same as it was before I put on the heavier armor. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, but I don't think it's got worse, so that's something, at least. I it might actually still be better. Anyway, let's go back up there. That looks like we're going to get surrounded by all sorts of stuff. Ow, that was like half my hit points. Not quite half my hit points, but still, um... Yeah, my lack of cold resist is showing. I'm just gonna... Wait, I did have something of cold resist. I had like a... Orb of Guile. If I wanted to lose my willpower, I can get cold resist. I mean, it would definitely be worth it, like, the fatter fight. 
But I don't think that's uh, general. Oh, this is a very good vice. Hmm. Also, a general thing, but at least that was easier to swap on, right? Cunning ranged magic. Um. Right, not ranged magic. What do I say? Ranged weapons. I don't even. Oh, no. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, I gotta cure this up. That was. I think I spent. I think I accidentally attacked one extra turn there. Lee's already cost me a curing po- a, uh, yeah, curing potion. It wasn't too bad. Oh god, Horfrost Cannonade. Hold on, I might be able to cast that. Ice Alchemy. Yeah, I can cast it. Let's grab that. I was a little disappointed last time I had this spell, but I'll give it a bit another try this time around, because if I get it earlier, it might be a little bit better. Also, did I completely forget to set targets on my spells? I think so. I'll stop the ice. Well, spellcasting is really huge. Let's stop that one. And maybe just get, like, five fighting is... No, wait, I'll... I'll get the fighting, but I'll... What am I turning on? I'll get the... the Call for us candidate down to good failure first. All right, let's try the cannons. Yeah, I think they're a bit more effective in here. Um, oh, you want to do a whole frost candidate archer character? Just have all the cannons going. Well, that's not a cannon. That's fine. I mean, I guess it wouldn't get in the way of doing archery, so it could work. Right, they're doing, they actually got time to do their last blast attacks, because they don't always do that. Also, I think my current weapons resist electric. Uh, I gotta remember, the cannons can actually block your retreat, can't they? I don't think there's any special, like, placement rules to stop that, so you gotta be a little bit careful. And I know that the current ones disappear when you bring out new ones. Um, they always disappear. Immediately. Hey, so, okay, so what's, uh, so that's basically a lightning spire, right? I mean, it kind of is, right? I mean, if you think about it, kind of a lightning spire. I mean, it does take up two spaces instead of one, but yep, kind of. And I guess it's also got a limited lifetime, like it does disappear after it's done its thing as well. Do I put the cutting range magic in my dex rig? I think so. Oh, what's in here? At least it's closed. It just sounds like a ghost. I could probably kill that earlier ghost if I wanted to. This, uh, Kaywin's ghost. Vinesilk of Brigand. Wait. Did I do 9 damage? Did I got 69 health? I gotta come back for them. That don't look too bad at all. Can the cannon seem invisible, though? Yeah, it can. Good. Nice. Oh, they slow enemy movements? I guess they do if the enemy's, like, cold blood or something. Ah, that's not gonna quite work. Oh, okay. If I just freeze this guy... It works just fine. But that's got a crazy number of death yanks to bring out. I thought they... I mean, I guess I can bring out any number of death eggs they want, right? Oh, they specifically apply freeze like the rhyme drags. Oh, I didn't realize that. Huh. Maybe the cannons are better than I thought. I think I've already got them, like, going too late into the game before to really do that much. Oh, they can't shoot here. The damage still feels, like, suboptimal, but I guess they slow things, it might be alright. Seems strong? Yeah, I mean, at this point, the game is definitely doing stuff. Oh, the Frost Arts also do the freeze, that's true. Oh. Hey, Aurag. She hasn't noticed yet, I could just go up. She does 48 damage, and it's 36, oh, 36 with the javelins, that's a separate thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll fight her right next to, but right next to her. The javelins do slightly less damage than facing her in melee. Yeah, these cannons of the lair are definitely good. Oh, fortune melee, that's not the best. Uh, no, I don't think I'll curse it. I think with that one, I think I might have to start waiting to get better curse at this point.
Oh, Nezos. Um, do I have any, like, polymorph or anything? I got paralysis. That can sometimes work, but I don't want to get, like, uh, petrified here. It's 50%. What have I got? I've got some curaris, sure. Um... Might just fog up? Oh, ow. Not working to separate the guys, is it? Oh no, I'm petrifying. If I stay here, I'm totally dead. I'm gonna teleport. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh, That's not good at all. I can zap with the wall, I get more necessary to get it away from me. I love to curaria, but it's rather close right now. What's the chance of getting on a fear? Ooh, pretty good. It doesn't have much willpower. Yeah, I might try the fear. There we go, that's better. What a staircase is this? That one's the one that's not even allowed to go down because it doesn't have any bad creatures or anything. That was rather a scary situation to get myself in. Oh, I had to blink. You think teleport was brave? I mean, maybe I should have blinked. Maybe that would have been the more reliable thing to do. Yeah, because the teleport, there was a lot of unexplored level for that to put me on boss in there, which was maybe a bit too risky. Anyway, let's get fighting. I'm going to get this 10 too much. Now let's get 10 fighting. So how's the chance of the Torfros getting 8% If I just bring Alchemy up to 7 or something, it might get me there. Oh, was ah wrong thing. I just quiver of the cannons. I think that's probably the sensible thing to have quivered. Uh, how do I keep this guy away from me? Is the main question. I think the ice beast is their blood. Oh, miscast. Okay. I think I can go around this way. Just because I'm just trying to get somewhere I can go back to the staircase in case I need to rest up or something. There we go. Aurig is also dead. How many blinks do I have? I actually do have blinks because I got everything identified with Ash and Zari, which helps out a lot. Oh, can I XP the Cannon Savage? Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's pull some in. They do. 3d7 to 15? How does that work? I think their last shot does more damage. I think it's what it's saying. It's fires to fire five times the final shot will fragment and hit all enemies around it. What type is, I think, ice, right? Or is it partly physical? I'm not actually sure. If it's partly physical, that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, wait, why am I not putting on my... Oh, wait, I can't put on my ice ring because I got all my stuff cursed. Maybe casting that ring was not a good idea. Or maybe it was. Because I do need to swing it, swap in the ice ring later on anyway to kill Fatter, don't I? Oh, there's a shard of ice. 50 does the explosion. Right. Right, makes sense. I don't know why am I carrying around a minus cast cloak? That was silly of me. Um... Berserk Rage is also not really needed, same with Might, because I'm not really doing any melee at all. Oh, there he is again. Do I have a vulnerability? I do. I'm gonna hit him with the vulnerability and then paralyze him. I hope this works. It's for maybe 70%? Let's see. I could pa uh, No, it's not. That vulnerability did nothing. It's only 57%. I might actually... Sea Snake? I might just polymorph him. There we go. Apparently he didn't have enough uh, willpower to kind of get half to nothing. Yeah, well. Are you using them to okay effectiveness versus ice immune enemies? So they must be partly physical interesting. Fortune and melee combat. Do I even have anything to curse up? I mean, I still got this weapon, but that's not massively great curse. I guess it's armor skill, right? Armored shields. I don't have a shield yet, but could be useful. Also, do I have a shield? It'd be really nice to have one, because then I could curse it. Got that little orb of guile, which... Nah, I don't think I'll go with that one. 
I was going to say fords can't use longbows. Yeah, because otherwise they would have just picked up the longbow that Nezzles had and just kept on shooting me. No, are they limited to slings? How does that actually work with fords? Oh, alright, that's a dead end. I also don't want to go back down there because the sky shark will go berserk if it gets next to me. Someday these cannons are going to appear behind me when I'm on a retreat and I'm going to be in trouble because I'm not being massively careful with them, which, um, yeah, it's going to cause me problems, I'm sure it will. Hey, the Hydra, I might just keep backing up into this open area. Wait, the, uh, the cannons are small? Oh, the fords are small, so they can't use the longbows. That makes sense. I know sometimes the enemies, like, cheat with what they're allowed to wear, though. But apparently they don't cheat when it comes to using longbows. Trying to think of an example. I think there's, like, spring and riders can wear, like, chainmail and stuff. Would, would be an example of the enemies cheating. Hmm, right. Uh, what do I do against Sky Shark? Can I paralyze it or is that not very easy? Oh, 30%. No, I guess not. Oh, my bot's not, not there. Let me go and grab that bot. So we can look at what these fonts do. Uh, wait, that's not it. Ah, what am I doing? Try to add the bot. So it lists its size, does it, with the bot? It says... Wait, size medium. Huh. But that would suggest that it... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's not where I want this guy at all. I'm gonna try warping it. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work again. I can still try another time, though. Oh, it still didn't work. Hey, these 30% chances. Um, oh, the body here trying to sell some viewers. Let's get rid of that one. Goodbye, bot. Get out of here. Oh, do I just... I'm gonna actually tell if what I think, because this guy's gonna go berserk any second. Oh, it didn't. Oh, I guess that still works to get me out of there. Right. I believe the cannons have like slightly weird placement when it comes to enemies. Because when I bring in a cannon and summons are like uh, next to me, right? Well, kind of vaguely close to me. Whereas when an enemy summons, I think it's somewhere else. I think it's like also next to me. I've like, got ranged combat and, and elements. I'll take it. I'll take some elements. I feel like I can get use out of that. I can't really get my cannons doing any work when I'm in that corridor, but I guess that's alright. Also, how do I get rid of this Hydra? Oh, the elemental skeletons target you? Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm distinctively lacking spots of tree back into here. I guess I'll retreat this way. Oh, it's just the monsters cheating as they do, as all the monsters do. Alright, well, I guess also not all the monsters, some of them do player stuff. Don't know. Do I have to teleport or is this fine? 
What have I got? Oh, what's that's not what I'm trying to do. What have I got that can help me out? Um, I don't think those cannons will kill the Hydra, will they? I mean, they might. If I actually specifically ask my cannons to go for this Hydra, no, it might not work. Do I have to teleport? Do I? Don't I teleport out? I don't know. Um, Because I've still got a reasonable amount of health. It's still, like, severely wounded. If I step back once, can this cannon see me? It can. Good. I don't need that excluded. Oh, right. The Hydra's just going to wait there, isn't it? Which is unfortunately out of view, so it's not getting shot by the cannon. I think I'll teleport out, but I don't have a huge number of scrolls. Ah, oh, yeah, the Hydra's got plenty of health. That's a shame. It's not a scroll teleport down, but I'm sure that's fine. How am I cannon shooting right now? Is there a random chance of shooting each round? It probably is. Oh, whoops. Ah, uh, that's not right. There we go, that's better. Let's try to get the little dude out the front, because that one's pretty harmless. I think I better head to a staircase, though. Maybe. Try to shoot them on the way over to the staircase, but it's not really taking them out. Now, mm. I'll see these guys come along when I try to get into the staircase. Saved by the endoplasm. I mean, kinda. I certainly did make it way easier to retreat there. No, that would have been. I had to figure out something otherwise. Do I pull one of these upstairs? I was going to put both of them upstairs. Can't have that. Oh, well. Oh, bring out the ice piece. There we go. That traps that guy nicely. It's funny just seeing, like, the little endoplasms, because I knew there was something really weak as soon as the Ashen's, well, the Ashen's already the tangent got it, because it showed us, like, a little tiny little face. So you could tell it was something really weak. Um, I'm going to try freezing this guy. Even kill the guy. I got him wounded, but I'll uh, quite do the trick. I guess I'll just go up. I don't know. I feel like I'm just kind of pulling these guys around and maybe not making the most progress. All right, fighting's ten. What do I need? I can get. I mean, my spellcasting's pretty good at fourteen. Do I have a shield yet? I could get like five points of armor. I bring the ice magic up to like 16. Yeah. But it almost seems worth broadening out my magic. Maybe getting conjuration. Maybe getting earth. We'll see. Oh, there's a little uh, guy rolling at me. There's a lot of guys coming along. Am I bringing the ice beast to hopefully distract one of them? Mm, did get next to me. Everything's getting next to me. I mean, I can slow this one down with the Curari. Uh... These could all be affected by fear, right? Oh, I could do a whopping. A little bit questionable because I think I get myself it as well. Nah, that's maybe not worthwhile. Well. 
Oh, I think I do read all these fears. Um... Okay. I see that rhyme Drake there. What can I do to it? I don't think I can just polymorph it. Can I? 50% chance I can turn it off. Hornet to Mally I mean, it's not really improving it. I think I can cure it though. Ow. Yeah, it does do a lot of damage to me. I think I might just do a healing potion. Um. This is fine. Oh, no. I was hoping my guy would get in front, but it didn't. Um, I can Curari, I can net this guy. It's still gonna attend me, though, with this rolling old mess, I guess. Thankfully. Um, it's very persistent, though, with this just rolling at me over and over. Although, I think I've got a lockdown now, at least. Oh, no, it's still getting round. All right, skip all the way back to the staircase. That was a lot of guys. Oh, this is certainly a left five all time. I mean, I feel like it's just this character that's not dealing with it very well. I feel like it's not a particularly bad lair, right? I know, I guess it's definitely got a lot of tough creatures. Like, it's got the death yanks and stuff. Oh, well, dead earlier. Although, I don't think I actually killed the Death Yanks, did I? He's kind of ran away from them. Ooh, what's this? Magic regen? Yes, please. I'll take some magic regen. Do I have a good curse? I don't even have any curses waiting right now. I wonder why not. That didn't work. I guess I can just... try desperately to warp this guy. Um... Oh, it's pretty normal, you think? Yeah. I think it is. I think this character just doesn't have the best ways of dealing with some of these creatures. I mean, sometimes they kind of seem to be effective, but I feel like there's more effective dual school 7th level spells, honestly. A device is rage magic. Not rage magic, rage combat again. If only it was rage magic. <laughs> Uh now oh, where is everyone? <laughs> I mean they do like slowly do the trick. It's not it's kind of reasonably magic efficient, but it's not I don't know, I don't feel like it's turn efficient at killing things. Oh, because they don't focus on low damage per shot? Yeah, they just go for whatever's closest, right? Ooh, this is the air with, like, the dire elephant in it. And they often don't get off their final shot, because as soon as one of them goes, they tend to, like, resummon the other one and stuff. And also, they sometimes just die beforehand. Oh, it's the only place left? Okay, I'm probably going to manually explore. Should be a dire elephant in here, though. Oh, and a can of bleepers, of course. Can the cannons get petrified? Whoops, ah. Almost got myself petrified by accidentally hitting a plant. How did I not get petrified then? I guess I just got lucky. Try to keep it back up. Because I know there's going to be more guys in here. Don't think he gets petrified, which is a good sign. There we go, Corridor of the Cataplepus. I don't think I took that one out the best I could. I think there was definitely better strategies than there for dealing with that one than what I did, because I definitely risked a bit of petrification. Can it seem reasonably effective when I'm pulling things back that way? Alright, what have we got here? This is gonna come around that corner? I don't want to move up to it myself, but... 
There we go. Oh, he's a sword for a second. What's it doing? Come on, guy. Finally figured out how to get through, but it's rather close to me now. Oh, whoops. Can't just recast the cannons and scare rid of the old ones, so that's some way of getting past them if you have to. So maybe not the most effective, though. Do I just get... Oh, what do I want to get? I could just get a little bit more armor skill, but I'm gonna... Hold on, let me look at these spells. I might just get some conjuration or something, or earth. Uh... I get earth fire and do myself a hellfire monitor to go with my spells. Conjuration for when it opens the strachan. Oh, so it's only a fifth level spell? Actually, I guess that's not bad if the uh, cannon's only a fifth level spell. For some reason, I thought it was like a seventh level spell, which... Yeah, okay. No, for a fifth level spell, it's actually not bad at all. That means you can get it online, like, reasonably That's not where I wanted that guy. So much for the swapping. I guess if I get myself in it as well. There we go. It's got a chance of just doing me instead of the enemy. Alright, one down, two to go. Let's bring in a little ice beast. I don't think the ice beast does that much. I was actually just trying to pull the, or keep these guys back, but... Alright, based off of on five, um... I am gonna get it to Earth, why not? Where is it? Give me ten points, I'm not sure that's gonna quite be enough to get anything, but... That's a good start, at least. That cannon not shooting its final shot because it would blow itself up. I feel like that might have been the case because it just seemed like it was sitting there. Once it got to its final shot, I've oh, got Death Star, Taunt, Bog Jaws, Revivification. I don't think I'll be casting those minus covers. This come on. What even is my armor? It's nothing, right? Plus two scale fire resist. Oh, my weapon's already cursed. I can't swap to this cup and stuff cold. I'm just trying to find ways to get covered to this because I'm going to have to go back to the dungeon and there was fatter on the next level down. Yeah, well. Actually, that stuff cold would be kind of nice. What am I using? It's resist electric, resist poison. Hmm, I don't want to break it. That's the problem. Like, if I could just swap it normally, it might not be too bad. That's my only source of uh, resist poison. Do I, uh, companions and devices is okay. I'm not really into summoning. Sure, I get it. In fact, I've totally forgotten to get my evocation, haven't I? I should bring it up to. I bring it up to eight for now. At least I like, can rely on Ash and Zari to remind you of the curses. These creatures feel so weak after doing that last level of the lair. I mean, obviously I've still got to be careful, but... Definitely doesn't feel quite the same as going through the last level lair. I had to go down the stairs in case to get to that shop, don't I? I can vaguely detect Fatter just by the fact that oh, you should see a tough creature marker um, if it's around the corner or something. I gotta be careful with any time I see a tough creature marker. Ooh, Fortitude Elements, yes please. Oh no! I don't have anything! Oh, okay. Of course, when I get the good curse, uh, there's no one to be seen. Oh, wait, he doesn't even count as dangerous. He totally should. Oh, 
Oh, he's not a man of wolves. I thought it was a vault. If only the creatures of vaults were this week, it'd be such an easy game. Uh, I don't, I don't really have a way of getting covered this, do I? Or oh, maybe that offhand orb, actually. Yeah, I think the offhand orb should do the trick. The Battle of the Ice Mages. Um, he's getting a bigger army. Kind of cheating. My guys just focus on Fatter right now. <sighs> Not quite. <laughs> Thought I might have had him, but not quite. There we go. That got him. He's got a robe of cold resist. Only a robe, though. Do I really want this all on? How's my willpower? Uh, it's basically non existent anyway. But this probably makes it even worse. I think I take it off. Is either that or cursing it up? Because <laughs> I do have that curse sitting there. Alright, well, one of these staircases leads to a shop. It's not that one, it's probably this one. So, guy, gloves of infusion. They are plus one. I mean, they're, like, slightly better, although Infusion might not be an improvement for this character. It might even make things worse. Is that a shield? Hey, it's a little buckler. That's what I want to see. All right. Oh, give me that shield so I can put that on. It probably won't make much of a difference with the casting. Yeah, I mean, it's still 1%, so I can just curse it up with elements. Probably makes my casting better with the curse on it as well, because I've got some elements curses in there, so they're, they're all helping with the ice. Um, The earth is on 8 in a bit. Interesting. Let's go try the... I mean, the Hellfire model isn't there yet. What else have we got? I might just work towards that Hellfire motto, because that's a decent spell. That should be a noticeable upgrade of what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know if I've ever used this as my main damaging spell. I feel like it's not the best for that, because it does take a few turns to do its thing. But it's definitely a good spell. Definitely an excellent spell. Oh, here's a little centaur. Uh, void the teleport trap, good. Because I got Ash and Zari to help me out with that. Yeah, it's nice not being affected by teleport traps or shafts or anything along those lines. I need a big garlic or salt I don't even have a thing to curse because I gotta find a helmet first. Oh, works a bit, just a bit annoyingly, you think, with the Hellfire motto? Huh. I know, I haven't really used it like enough to really have an opinion on how annoying it is yet. I know I know when I was using it, it was fun. Whoa, two requirements. I'll take those. Okay, what have got? So it's a hat of strength. Manual of ice magic. Or rig of AC resist corrosion resist cold. Ooh, I don't have a hat yet, but I don't think I'll take the strength one. I might actually go with that rig. Well, the manual of ice magic is tempting, but I don't think I'm going to need the extra skill with uh, Mesh and Zari, to be perfectly honest. All right. Uh, I'll keep the willpower. I'm not sure if I need that, though. It's got a shatter. Maybe Dex? We'll see what else I've got. My other one is... Yeah, definitely the Dex. The other one's a Vajan. I just have to wait for it to expire to recast right. Yeah, I guess that can be a bit of a problem if there's if you've like left it out of view or something. Um did I pick up that rig already? I did. Good. And that tops up my resist, so I got everything apart from resist negative and willpower. Uh what well, I had another requirement as well, so I should read that one. Got the hat of resist electric, a rig of willpower, or 
not just fog, vile clutch, Alice's intoxication. Uh, not just fog isn't there. Okay. I was just like, good, they got a little bit of alchemy. That hat is not bad. It's got intelligence on it. I don't have a helmet at all. I think I might grab the hat of six intelligence. Um, also means my weapons just give me resist electric, which means I'm more likely to be able to swap it as well later on. Do I have another? I don't think I've got another source of resist electric, though I'm pretty sure I don't. It's hard to tell with all these cursed items because they have all, all these properties on them, but it doesn't look like it. Also, this hat looks pretty fancy. <laughs> Uh, how's that Hellfire mod going? 99%. What is the other scores? Fire as well, I think I've got to get to get it going. Oh, sometimes the train is bad for it. Right, because it can't, uh, it keeps running to flight creatures. And it can't get it through, like, uh, metal walls and stuff, right, as well. But it's strong enough to kill. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like, I don't know about this. My only attack spell. Oh, wait. Why the lad? That was meant to be the orcish mines. I don't do the best of being surrounded, but we'll see how this goes. I, mean, I guess I got out the ice beast. Uh... It doesn't stop me from doing any of my other stuff. All right. Earth is finished. I might get the fire wherever that is. Hopefully, I don't feel like 10 of each is enough, right? Why am I guys just focusing on this good dude? That's better. Take it out with the big blast at the end. Hmm. Hey, there might be some book jobs in here. We'll see if there's any of those, because that could be good. There's a... I don't know, what sort of spells am I going to... Mainly ice, but there might be a polar vortex. Not that I can cast it yet, but it'd be nice to get it on my list of spells in my library so I can cast it later on. I think there's sorcerers are dangerous because they can paralyze me and there's not much I can do to stop them. Uh, so i got to be a bit careful with those. Oh, there's a volcano, and I know exactly where it is, because Ash and Zari. Sorcerer Elements. Uh, I've got a hat. Sorcerer Elements is excellent. I'll just put that on my hat. There we go. Oh, the Hellfire's already down to 70%. I might just learn it. Got a fire in this, so I should be okay in a volcano, but i got to drop some stuff before I go in. Like, I guess the robe of willpower... Yeah, because there's not much point in keeping stuff that's just around for swapping when I can't exactly swap my stuff, right? Uh, drop the noise. Drop the torment. Guess I'll leave the charm weapon out here. Yeah, I didn't really ever use that one. Alright, let's make my way around the outside, but this might be one of the ones that puts the um, loot here in the center. Yeah, I can see the path in already. I should just head in. Does it give a lot of room to place down the cannons? Oh, I guess there's plenty of room, actually. I just... Mm, yeah, I guess there's room, actually. If I just stand... Oh, do I shout? I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I just wanted that guy to come to me rather than moving up to Ernst, but... I really don't feel like shouting is the right thing to do. Okay. I thought those uh, volcano eruptions were meant to land on top of me, but those ones seem to be missing. Maybe this stuff's going to be slow. Oh, he yeah, entered some shower water, right? I see what happened there. Why did it say moving the stuff? I don't know what's going on there. I guess that's actually not giving me any new messages. It's just cancelling up trying to move with no message. I 
I will shout. Oh, that didn't help. Man, okay, that's the problem with these cannons in here. They do kind of take up the space that I want to be moving into. Can I just paralyze this guy? Maybe. They're going to be really annoying, aren't they? Um, oh, getting burned up again. Okay. Forge? Wait, what about a... Oh, you need a forge craft so you're training for cannons, transports. I certainly do need something. Because yeah, then I can do mortars and uh, cannons. Oh. The sky breathes fire, right? Yeah, it does. I gotta pull it back because it's the same speed as me. Come on, cannons, you got this. I still can't do the Hellfire Mortar. <laughs> Feels like such a long way to pull it back. Also, did I have a cloak? I feel like it wasn't a plus two cloak if I had one. It's a plus zero cloak of self beguiling, which is not that impressive, so I might just go shatter it. Goodbye, cloak. Hello, better cloak. I can see that uh, gargoyle. How fast is it? Not fast. Good. This guy is dangerous. I think it's got paralysis and bolt of fire. Oh, it's got 30% of the paralysis. I don't have any willpower. Okay. Um, I see how it is. What can I do? Can I paralyze it? No. Uh... What about now? Can I paralyze it now? No. It's got too much willpower. Okay. That works. It's here as an ice beast to pull it back, and hopefully I can pull it all the way back. I'm actually sure it's following anymore. It might not be. Oh, Burned them up. Of course it did. I think the other ones are getting haste as well, aren't they? Or oh, maybe not. I don't see the hasted ones. Alright, five magic. Wait, the base is on six? That's barely anything. Yeah, it costs like nothing to trade as well. I should definitely get more. I should bring it up to, let's try 15. Um, How's that earth going? I think that's pretty cheap as well. I might try to bring that up to like 15 as well. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but they're both basically free to trade up, which is nice. Oh, what's ah? Let me just stand next to that guy. We just fine. Can I paralyze it? Not really. Thirty percent. Don't think it can poison it because it's a gargoyle, right? So got the leather armor, fire dust, the basic scimitar. I'm surprised the scimitar is not flaming. They usually are. Someone in here as well. Not the worst spot, although that doesn't actually quite work, does it? That's more like it. Get those behind it so now they'll both be able to shoot it from the back. There we go. I've got the ring mail. What am I even wearing? It's like not even that special, is it? Plus two scale mail fire resist. Probably about the same as this ring mail. Flaming demon whip. I don't know if I need that one either. Probably not. Let's get out of here. Actually, I should check for items before I get out of here. So we've got a push of might. I can probably leave. Leather armor. I can probably leave. Roman fire resist. I can probably leave. Yeah, I think I'm done here. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I just had to be a little bit careful with the fire cave. Volcano, whatever they're called. I don't like to look at that, because this guy can paralyze and then this guy can slaughter, but I might just be able to back up. 
That didn't work, did it? I don't want a random blink, because I could do a random blink with the wand of warping if I wanted to. But it could make things worse. All I want is this guy out of the way, so I can move back that way. Um, I don't think I can get that with the warping, though, without getting myself... Hellfire's mod is not quite there, okay. Uh... Oh, I guess I'm warping myself. See where I end up. Yeah, okay. Can't get to that staircase. It's a bit more promising, but this guy's chance of paralysis is terrible. 33%. I don't like to see that at all. Uh, I really don't have a willpower potion. No, I do not. I might try warping these guys again. All right. Now, if I ask my cannons to go for them, will they? I mean, one of them might. There we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Don't block that way off. That was a bit of silly of me. And I should be able to retreat back to the staircase if I want to, although... Do I want to? They don't want to have that guy coming down the staircase right next to me or anything. There we go, that got rid of them. <laughs> huh. And it also brings me to 43% failure of my new spell leather, Telfire Mortar. This is another group of tough creatures, because again, it's got a guy that can paralyze me. I can try my best to hide behind the borders, but I don't always have cover from the guy that can paralyze me. It's definitely a lot more retreating back with this character than now with some characters, because I've always got to retreat back to get my mortars in a... Not, uh, the mortars are not mortars, they're cannons. Get my cannons in a good spot. Whoops. Ah. Imagine I'll be able to retreat back. That was... Again, I keep on stopping up and getting the cannons in a bad spot, but it's fine. Oh, whoops, I really shouldn't have cast that. That would have had a very good chance of blocking off the doorway, I think. Because the cannons appear, unlike most summoning spells, I think they appear within three range of me. Because most summoning spells are like two range. I believe that's correct. So they're kind of definitely, well, a lot more spread out. Although, do you actually want them next to you? It might be a good thing that they're spread out, but it does mean they don't focus their targets quite as well, I think. Uh, go there. That's fine. Feels strange when my cannons blow up because it doesn't happen that often. I mean, it's happened a few times with the Orcish Mines, but they're just five. What is it? Five shots, I think? It's not just like five, five turns, they actually have to get all the shots off. Which sometimes they just don't do for some reason, I don't understand why. I guess they're just a random cast chance each round or something, but... Yeah, like, there, they're just not shooting. So that's actually a lot of rounds that they actually have to survive just to get off five shots.
Ugh, let's pull these guys back. Uh, maybe they didn't be followed. Did they die? They shouldn't be fighting the cannons because they're out of view, right? I don't know. I think they just ran away. Right, we can get heal wounds. I come back for these potions, uh, mutation. Yeah, I mean, these are all good things. I come back to them um, if I don't buy anything else in these other shops. This resist electric minus cover resist into the gray mace. Unfortunately, gray mace two handed. Not that my shield is anything special right now. It's just like a buckler or something. Uh, cloak of acid resist. I think I actually need that one, don't I? My cloak is like plus two. Yes, yeah, so it's a straight up improvement. Oh, or is it? Because I got the ring giving me acid resist. I could probably grab the cloak anyway, just in case I ever swap out that ring. Because I don't have my current cloak curse or anything. So I don't really lose anything, apart from a little bit of money, I guess. Solving them. Yeah, let's do it. It's like 500, no, not 500, 260 gold. Gold is kind of weird in this game, because you often don't get shot, then you have characters where there's, like, a ton of really good stuff for sale, you're trying to buy it, and you can't... I don't know, it's uh, definitely... Definitely not something you always need, though. Yeah, like, I can basically buy anything I want to right now. Uh, and it really depends on the RMG on your shops. Well, dungeon level 13, I guess. Ooh, not this one. The Hellfire mod is castable, though. Probably not that staircase either. Although, do I actually know which one that is? Oh, don't miss cast on me. Oh, you pretty much always have a gold, uh, enough gold by the end, though. Yeah, true. Okay, I'm just fine. <laughs> it's not the uh, what I feared it might be. I just quiver up the. I don't know. I'll get the cannon, uh, cannons quivered. Oh, that's right. You can actually snipe people around corners to some extent with the cannon sometimes. Sorcery and introspection. That sounds decent. Wait, what's sorcery again? Sounds like conjuration. It's something I don't use. The night. Conjuration, alchemy. I do use alchemy. I use fighting. I use spellcasting. So it's like mainly useful skills. Let's put it on my cloak or my ring. Might do my cloak, but like either one would have been fine. Can I not cast yet? Yeah, you already have an active border. All right. And the border technically shoots, I think, everyone around it. Uh. Or maybe there's a limit to how many people it shoots, I'm not entirely sure, but I know it shoots more than just one guy as it runs past. Yeah, like, look at that, it just shot that entire army of guys. Uh, I've still got their Hellfire Mortar out, don't I? The unfortunate thing is I can't go through this lava, which is not the most ideal. Wait, did one of my cannons appear somewhere out of view? Well, it quickly ended up out of view. Um, I can't do another Hellfire Mortar. I could try and get my cannons back in. I don't feel like they do much against these Keld Warriors, though. Uh, wait. Can I? No. Wait, can I do the Hellfire Mortar? Or did that not do anything? Oh, I thought I did the wrong spell. And I miscast. Oh, I think you're gonna have to do a teleport. Man, okay, the meter in the wrong spell there was a bad idea uh, bad thing. That did not help at all. I was trying to cast the cannons, but apparently it uh the modern is casting the cannons instead. Ah. You know what I can do? I can just uh, go do that. <laughs> Break the wall open, I guess. Um... I 
I'm not sure they helped to be the most, but it's always funny when you send the uh, mortar through a wall. In fact, with Ash and Zari, I might be able to do that quite often because they can detect creatures on the other side of walls. So I guess I still have to be able to see the creatures for my cannon to actually hit them, don't I? Uh... Ah, whoops. Let's back up a bit. Um... I didn't quite get through the wall. Oh, well. I missed cast, okay. Sure. So I can start the new cannon before the old lava goes away. I just can't do it while the old cannon exists. Is that how this works? I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Wait, doesn't there? I guess I have actually technically explored here. Right, let's go down again. So I'm going to do a lab branch at some stage. What even were my lab branches? I think it was the spider nest and the shoals. I have a fly, but the shoals might be good. Oh, I don't know if I can curse this thing. I can. Introspection elements is good. Let's put that on this ring. Yeah, it's a great curse. Brings us down to 4% failure. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Does it do anything apart from fire damage, though? I'm not sure. Um, I'll get the fighting up to 15. Do we have a shield now, so there's a bit of advantage to getting shields. Armor could go up to like 12. I mean, this is the classic Ash and Zari thing. It's like, oh, you've got tons of uh, skills, not much spells. But no, it's uh, definitely feeling good with uh, doing Hellfire Mortar. Staff of Fire. I got my poison resist on my current weapon, but a Staff of Fire would help the power of my Hellfire Mortar. Uh... Oh, well, so it doesn't go very far, does it? Although it does mean I can recast it quicker if it doesn't travel that far, so I don't know. Not too much of a disadvantage, I guess. Ah, was ah. I was trying to cast a spell, but I needed to do like a capital Z or something instead of a normal Z because the uh, guy was on the other side of the wall. Oh, so uh, Tannis? Tannis was going to be on today, right? I just noticed he hasn't started streaming yet. Huh. He usually does like uh, an hour before we play Baldur's Gate. Maybe he's not. He should be. Because it was last week that he couldn't make it, right? I hope I didn't get the wrong week that he couldn't make it or something. That would be bad. This guy's fancy with his demon trident. Not as going to get up to me to use it. Wait, this one's got a demon trident as well? Was there an armory in here that I just didn't notice? Maybe there was. No, because that's a real demon trident. So it can't be an armory because it'll disappear when the guy died, right? Yeah, those are real. It's just a vault, I guess. Dev's vault, probably? I mean, no, I'm not deep enough for that yet. I don't know what this is. Apparently they're aware of what he's kitted out with demon weapons. Uh, I'll bring on the cannons, I think. And they're guarding the locomorax, which unfortunately, it's a, like a two-handed reach cleave one, so you can hit everyone around you with it. But unfortunately, it doesn't really work for this character. No, that doesn't look like I'm casting right spell. Whatever, I'll go up. Bet I might go down somewhere else.
What is this guy? Bald beetle? I see. Oh, interesting. You can see if your cannon's active, even if it's off screen, by trying to recast it. Yes, that's helpful to some extent. What well, there's any other spells like that where you can tell if they're active or not um, when they're off screen? I mean, I guess you can with the cool canine familiar because that will tell you if you have a dog active. Also, this would be nice if I could get some flag or something. <laughs> so that I could go up with my own lava instead of being trapped behind it. Just like the enemies are. Although it's actually pretty effective when they can't get up to me. I can just sit back here and blast them all with Hellfire Mortar after Hellfire Mortar. That's kind of funny. I know I've had that happen with the Elven Halls before with the Elves so having trouble getting to me. Because there was uh, lava in the way. See if it damages this guy. Uh, maybe a little bit. Right, fighting's looking good. Everything's actually looking pretty good. Let's get... Gonna get some more wrath. Yeah, I got like 20 hours. Um, I guess I can get a little bit more spellcasting, but 60 is pretty good. Armors is also look pretty good. Uh, being with Dash of Zari throws off my uh, ability to decide which skills to train because everything's... Oh, what's that? I need to move closer there. Everything's uh, so much higher than I'm used to at the point of game I'm on. I don't need a quarter staff, of course not. Oh, let's just thread this guy through the middle of those. Got a rate age. I do have a little bit of alchemy. Let's go see if that's castable. Tempest in failure. I get it. Just haven't done the conjuration. Oh, so there's no one in there. I, mean, I guess I should have known there was no one in there because I would have attacked him with the Ash and Zari if there was. That's not it. What else my other regular like evasion or something, so I don't think I need the protection one. And I've got the excellent one that gives all sorts of resistance stuff, and I'm not gonna swap that one off. Uh, I'm going to bring out the Hellfire model. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the bad one's moving back after every one of its tags, which meant the Hellfire model never hit it. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, because the Hellfire model will break when it hits a creature. So I was really surprised it didn't disappear there. Uh, it's not perfect. Well, it doesn't look like it mattered because these guys didn't really manage to get to me anyway. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Why is it rolling like that? I'm just kind of rolling away from me. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that before. Oh, well, I can stop forest fires while some of these get guys get to me. It's very effective over here doing the Hellfire Mortar. <laughs> oh, then the trees come back. That's right. <laughs> that seems kind of strange, although I guess it's no strange with wolves. I don't know, it just feels strange watching a bunch of trees just reappearing. Does this do any damage? Yes. Okay. Because I, I thought a lava snake was like immune to fire, but it might not be. Let's go to... Do I have a way of flying? Uh, I do have some wizardry there, which I don't think I need right now. I don't think... Okay, I don't have anything for flight. Right, but I'll go to the shoals anyway. I might be able to produce a bunch of steam. I wonder how effective this will be. Yeah, definitely producing steam. Interesting. Got 
Because it does mean that it sometimes can't hit things because it blocked its own vision with steam. But it also... Let's do a bit of bonus damage with the steam. Um, Where's my cannons? Excellent, there we go. <laughs> yeah, gotta be a bit careful in here with the with everything that goes on. Because most of these creatures are so much faster than me, I think, so it's hard to retreat or anything. Yep. That might have been a miscast, at least I so that must have been, right? What's in here? Is that a wall diggable wall? It'd be kinda of funny if it was, but I don't think it is. Because then I could just like dig in with the cannon or whatever. <laughs> Although, not that I can follow, because they don't have any flight to get over the lava. Oh, ah, what's... I didn't mean to move there. I was trying to line up the cannon, but of course, uh, the mortar, I mean. But of course, I couldn't actually cast it, so it just did the movement instead. I can go kill this guy. Shouldn't be a problem. And we've got gloves of decks. I think my gloves weren't that special, so I could probably buy those. Let me just go double check. My gloves are fortitude and rage combat. Ah. Uh, Go blow up these gloves. These will die. Plus two ones of decks. Uh, do I need a brand weapon? Don't think so. I can't even use brand weapons on cursed stuff. It's specifically just the enchant weapon that I can use on cursed stuff. Ooh, a shop. What do you got for me? It's got, oh, manuals. Uh, fighting? Fighting's fine. Don't think I need long blades. Maybe necromancy, but probably not. Don't really need the stars either. Okay, well, I'll definitely buy the fighting one. Because that's a way that's a skill that's useful for everyone. I remember, like, uh, when I first started this play, uh, playing this game, and I didn't realize how important it was to get fighting. And I'd, like, never traded on my uh, melee characters, which was never a great idea. That lava looks so much darker in normal cases background. But I think it is just specifically because of the brightness of the shoals. And shoals actually got made less bright than it used to be as well. It used to be ridiculously bright. Why is that those gloves of fusion on my shopping list? I noticed it's because they said that I could buy them. It should be pointless that I got the gloves of decks. Excellent. First of all, the shawls wasn't too bad, but they weren't any unique sort of thing. There wasn't anything that was super challenging on that level. Alright. What was I actually trying to get with the word spells? I could try and get myself some bombard or something. Um, Ignition? Magnavolt's air. It's conjuration if I go the whole bombard route, but I've also got the you know what I might? Oh. Interrupted by this dude. Alright, but I might do that because the card race is useful anyway, because I got the Um oh, what's it called? Try to, I can't remember what I was trying to say. I've got the Radiate, which I could use on these guys. You know what? Let's give it a try. And that would uh, be nice to get that one with a little bit less failure. Didn't get the Bombard yet because I got interrupted. So let's go grab that one. What am I trading? Spellcasting? I could probably wait on the Spellcasting. Uh, trading Earth Magic. Earth Magic is fine. Let's just get the Conjuration though.
Oh, there's a shop trying to sell me. It's trying to sell me. Oh, a vile floods. A really cheap one at that. 200 gold for a vile floods. Wow, okay. Oh, willpower, uh, light of it, I mean, potion. Definitely. Can't grab the emulation yet, but I don't think I've shown those. That was a that was an excellent shop. A Calarin shop? I mean, that's be why it's so cheap. Uh, hey, Louise, with the minus teleport. What is that? A tower? Oh, if only that wasn't minus teleport. Look at that tower shield. Eight intelligence? Plus ten? Man, if only it was a form, so this is a tower shield of a form, so that one. I mean, I don't think so. I really can't, can I? <laughs> Oh, well. Sorcery of Fortitude. Interesting. Fortitude's useful. Yeah, it's good enough. I'll put on my gloves. Uh, Can't even, like, try on the shield or anything. Oh, I kind of want to carry it around, even if I'm not going to be using it. <laughs> But the thing about like protective that would be in fact I can see how protective it would be if I look at it. It would give uh what seventy more shield, although it minus three uh, evasion or something. I don't know. It's just probably not worth it. And that's without shield skill. So if I got more shield skill, it would give even more. Excellent. Level 2 is done. That was also no uniques. This guy's gonna get some attacks on me, right? Yup, I might just go up. Oh yeah, that's absolutely eating me with that amount of damage. Oh, so I can shoot through trees, but I can't shoot through shrubs by the looks of things. Because I guess technically they count as creatures, right? The shrubs? I think it's something like that. Because you can like attack them and all that sort of things, but the trees count as well the same as like wolves or that sort of thing. I would have got enough money to buy some immolation or something. It was nothing too special. She wasn't scared of these, so I think more armor and more shields, and that's basically it. Almost got the right shield. Does that minus teleport to ruin it, unfortunately? Nope. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I get good armor, I can charge it up. Because I got all the uh, charge armor scrolls I could ever want. Actually, I've only got, like, maybe five of them or something. I like how the enemy sometimes just, like, run away and decide to go find the hell by a fire border. Even though that's kind of pointless because they're never going to catch up to it. It's got, like, endless hit points. How much health did I have? I think it's based on my spell power. 108. Yeah, it's got, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, not quite as much as me, but it still seems to survive pretty well. Okay, this guy should be faster than me because it's going through water. Oh, whoops. Ah. I hate accidentally moving up. But anyway, they got distracted and they ran away, so that's fine. Wait, why can't I fire Hellfire Mortar? Oh, maybe I can. Oh, because there was no creatures in view, so I was just saying it was useless. I wasn't saying they couldn't fire it. Also oh, broke with enemies chasing to shore us. No, it's a. I mean, you can basically free distraction without them actually being able to do anything to it. It's really nice. Let's go downstairs. Yeah. 
Wait, get to the downstairs? Of course. Oh, the holy one. Um, it's fine at the moment. Hey, Donald. I will take his shield, but gotta actually kill him for that. So many things that can, like, block staircases here, like that guy could. Uh... I love how the dream sheep just kind of die as the hellfire body goes past them. That makes my life a lot easier. All right, what's the next way down? I'll try the third staircase, I think. I was like, as, as like fearful as they stay in his range. Oh, right, yeah, they do stay in his range, so they're constantly actually taking the damage because sometimes you have problems with moving out. Yeah, so it really is good when they just decide. Like, oh, I want to stay in the thing's range. Angel. Okay. Hey, it's chasing after it. There we go. That's so much better. Uh, except unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to kill it. That's no. There's just too much stuff there. All right, where's the actual staircase? Uh, where's one that would, might be decent? I'll try the this one. Oh, I got blown off it. Ah, I still wounded. Maybe I should do somewhere else for a while. Actually, <laughs> these uh, they already seem a little rough. Um, was it chasing? Maybe. Doesn't matter because they got pushed back. Oh, you still never got into Holy Shoals? I can't wait to be Holy Shoals. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing, not getting it right. Because it's uh, definitely one of the tougher ones, I think. Although it might not be quite as bad as it used to be. I feel like it might have been toned down just a little bit. Oh, hey, Jorgrun. How many willpower do I? Do you have one potion of it? Oh, three potions of it? Okay. Oh, so many things. Um... I pull the spark whilst what it says. Oh, I'm constricted and I failed. I don't know if that looked any better. That honestly looked kind of worse. Um, <laughs> it scares you, the Holy Shawls? I mean, we'll see how it is when you get to it. But yeah, this honestly seemed worse than the Holy Shawls this time round. Oh, look at that. There's a Jor Gumbo to constrict me. Jor Grunt to... Oh, net me up. Jor Grunt to constrict me. Jor Grunt to obliterate me. Oh, I think I go back to Shoals. Um, we're going to be very careful with the staircase as they go down, though. So is that guy you just... Around this corner? No, I probably just something I detected earlier. That was the last one I went down, right? I think it's been the longest time since I went down this one. Right. Which noise does a Hellfire mod make? It sounds like it should be lo loud, but I'm not sure it actually is. Oh, good. Ursula 20. Uh, I was going to get fighting. I might just bring that one up to 20. Because I got the manual on it. Some of these have dropped a little bit, but not huge amounts. Yeah, I think the spellcasting might have dropped. Okay, it's going all right. I'll bring out the little cannons again. They're adding something. Even if they're not doing quite the damage of a mortar. Do I go up? I think I do. There's just a lot of things that I'll have Donald next to me if I don't go up right now. Alright, hey Beishu Jen. Um, I could irradiate her, but I should definitely start the mortar. Alright, oh I could bombard her. I might irradiate her though a couple of times. Getting low magic points, I haven't had that problem before. 
But anyway, let's try her with a bombard, I think. Yeah, I mean, that totally ran me out of magic points. All right, what have you got on the ground? Nothing that I want on her. I think I'll just go down the staircase again. So many javelin ears. Is this fine? No, I don't think so. Not that staircase. Yeah, I think that's the one I want now. I mean, I think it pulls for the same javelin ears as the other ones, but... At least I get to fight them, like, one at a time. Uh, it's probably time for me to go up. Alright, that should have pulled the javelin ears away from that other one that had javelin ears. All right, they're coming back, of course. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's a Kraken. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. I was like, oh, there's a ton of creatures there. Who knows what those things are? Is there something stopping me going with this one? I don't think so. All right, it's still Donald. And he's hasted up. Gotta try and warp him. That's not warping, is it? Huh? He's kind of dying. <laughs> and he's going for the Hellfire Monitor. Yeah, he's doomed if he's going for the Hellfire Monitor. Oh, it's Joel's for it, spooky in general. It certainly can be, yes. Yeah, definitely. I've had a number of characters meet their NT. In fact, how would I work that? How would I look at that? I guess I'd say, like. Is it just place equals Shoals to look at how many times I've died in Shoals? That not it. Right, I died like 10 times in Shoals by the looks of things. Which I think is more than... I mean, maybe not as much as Spider or something. Um... But I'll check out the... Uh, how do I spell Spider? Uh... Yeah, died 21 times in Spider, okay. <laughs> sure. That actually seems like a lot. What about the snake birds? Because maybe I haven't died much in the shoals. Uh... I died 16 times in the snake birds? Apparently shoals one of the least lethal branches for me or something. Weird. I mean, I do often leave it as my second branch, but not always. Do I need a Trishilla of Holy Wrath? I don't think so. I've got play of Demon Trines as well. I've got all, the, all that sort of stuff. Alright, fighting. Fighting's still got a manual on it. I mean, if it has a manual on it, I might as well keep it going. Yeah, it's a very worthwhile skill having. I think I'll stop as soon as the... Oh, what was I shot at the plot? He'll stop as soon as the manual wears off. Spider has the same, like, absolute depth thing. I mean, the absolute depth is meant to be, like, a measure of toughness, right? But I'm not sure I'd, uh... Or at least I think it's a kind of a measure of also loot can spawn in the place. In reality. Let me sell javelins. I don't actually need javelins. I'm not gonna use them. Got my own version of a javelin. I'm gonna hellfire mortar. It's actually not really the same thing, but it does uh does get rid of groups of creatures just as well. This level's interesting, because all the creatures come to the staircases. Once you clad off the staircases, there's not really... ...a lot of guys? Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, there's still like the occasional angel or whatever, but I'm really not getting swarmed with guys. All right, where's the creature? Huh? Huh? Tough sense creature. You can see that, right? It's a like tough sense creature, but it's a it's a shiny one older. What? I don't know what? I am trying to see which branch kills me the most. I know there is a query for that. I don't what? And then when it got out of view, it's no longer it senses the monster. Ooh, refrigeration, polar vortex. Those sound good. If I grab the refrigeration, that gives me a thing to do. Uh, polar vortex is, oh, 65% failure. Huh. I haven't got it yet, but I should be able to get that one online, like, relatively soon. Yeah, the shiny one on is a monster. Glowing golden altar of the shining one. Wait. Oh, when I stand on it, it shows me. <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest bug ever. Shiny one alders are monsters. And it's specifically the shiny one older. The Elevelin older doesn't count. I don't know. Okay, sure. Let's go to, I think I'm going to vaults instead of trying to continue until the snake, uh, the spider nest. It looked pretty bad. Wow, that guy was about to get out of range of the Hellfire Modern. It was like, no, nah, I don't want to. I want to stay in his range and just follow it after it. Oh, no, another Kaku Demon. Uh... Oh, I wish the actual summoner, there we go. I wish the actual summoner would come into view to get rid of that one. Let's follow my own hellfire mortar. There we go, just because it's killing the things for me. Oh, looks like uh, Charles is like all four. Wait, it's... Oh, it's all the deaths and Charles are like Charles four. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. I mean, I feel like most of them probably would be. That guy's got a fancy hat as well. It's uh, Kaxkaros? I think it's Kaxkaros' ghost. They're a former fighter of Okawaru. 50 damage? Oof. It got tons of health as well, like way more than me. I mean, I guess Formosa Ghost probably would be a bit tougher because uh, their minus teleport doesn't matter anymore. They still get to keep all their other stuff. I'm currently marked. We'll see what comes along. <sighs> Jellyfish, those are kind of nasty sometimes. Because they'll blink up to you and stuff. Um, okay. All the fighting. 22 is probably enough of that. Oh, there's lots of deaths and... Uh, right. Oh, there's more shoals and spider ones on that list? Am I misreading this? I'm not sure. Oh, what am I trying to turn on? Uh, I got to turn on something. I could just turn ice back on. And try and get that polar vortex. Yeah, let's get like 26 in the... Actually, no, I can bring it all the way up to 27. And don't worry about messing up my title because it's buffed. Yeah, I mean, I think polar vortex is just the thing to get. Oh, mate, is your subject of feelings so it must be accurate? Oh, Shoals is the deadliest end for you. But Charles is the least deadly branch. Yeah, that sounds about right. Interesting is the least deadly branch, though. Huh. I mean, it's having the most deadly end, like, definitely checks out. I can see, is Spider the most deadly branch or not? Because I can see Spider having the most deaths. Um... 
Let me death over the spider. I don't know. That's also how you feel about spider. I've always felt that a spider ending isn't the worst one ever. I can just like irradiate this dude or something. I don't know. Or oh, that. Uh, irradiate this dude though. I can kind of keep these guys at bay as well. You're like, these guys are absolutely not doing much to me. Uh... Okay, I don't think keeping this guy at bay for me is actually that helpful because it's an archer. But I guess actually shooting out there is pretty good because it stops it going for me. It goes for my summon instead. It's interesting how the lava like appears immediately, which means it stops the enemies moving across it and stuff. It's definitely pretty helpful. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd move into the front of like in front of my Hellfire Mortar a lot of more often. I think a spider is scary, but it feels like the end isn't that much scary. Yeah, it does the end? I mean, the end has more creatures, but I feel like it's often the staircases that are the scary parts of Spider. Just getting ambushed when you go down. I mean, it's not the only thing that can kills you, kill you, but it definitely feels like it's up there. And just running out of staircases could also be a problem because you've got them all covered in creatures. I've also had to be a problem. That doesn't really do much. Yeah, well. I'm mostly scared of layouts where it's open and all the scares are bad. Yeah, those ones are terrible. Sometimes, like, I mean, this character left it because the initial staircase was bad, right? But uh, it's not like having uh, all three of your staircases bad, although I guess the initial staircase kind of is like having all three of your staircases bad because it's the only way down. Man, it's hilarious if those guys stuck behind lava. I mean, it doesn't help with all enemies. It certainly helps with these ones. What is in here? Wait, I thought I saw this guy's ghost. Kaxayasu's ghost? I saw them. A troll fighter of Okawaru? Wait, what? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen that exact ghost. Maybe it was that exact one, like, not even another spot. Well, wait, what's in this level? Is that really the best entrance? Oh, it is too. Huh. Blinking at that one is a portion of mutation, but I don't think I'm going to go in here, although there is a Chant Armor. There's Dex's Ghost. There are Master Forms and Fighter of Okawaru. Also hit really hard. All these Forms and Ghosts. I should get one of these Forms and Ghosts as Tower Shield. I might be able to get more use out of it than I can. Oh, also, I forgot to put on a better shield, didn't I? There was a shield. I killed Donald. I know he had one. Oh, that doesn't seem right. I guess I've misclicked. Yeah. Uh... Oops. I'll get there eventually. There we go. So I need to go shout a... The little buckler, it's fortitude and elements. It's actually not a bad curse, but goodbye, buckler. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't help me on my progress towards the polar vortex. Oh, I've got fail on the hellfire mod and everything now as well. I guess not enough shield skill. Oh, shields is nowhere. I'm gonna get some of that. I get like 10. Um, where am I having Zod? Not Zod, vaults. I don't think I could get into Zod if I wanted to, because I don't have the runes. I've only got one rune.
Oops, I think I just miscast. Oh, did mock me. Worried about that. Hey, that's a big shield. What is it? Just a plus zero tower shield? Ah, yeah, but still, that's uh, eventually probably a plan for this character. I don't think in a hurry, I'll probably try to get the polar vortex going first before I go with the tower shield, but... A little ground statue. I want one. I want to, I want to use heavy armor, though. I don't want to use the granite statue. Uh, what do I do to this guy? I mean, I guess I'm going to radiate it. They do have the conjuration up to 10, something like that. What are my rigs? I have the ring, uh, the ring of dodging or whatever. This ring of evasion. And a ring of wizardry? The wizardry could be useful for a while, but I've tried. Oh, wait, I can shoot through that? Okay. Can I shoot through? I don't think I can shoot through any of these walls. Oh. It's hard to kill that guy. Because he's just not really standing in the right spot for me to get a mortar going. I guess I could try to radiate it or something. Oops. Ah. I just move back here to radiate these guys. Shouldn't be too bad. Look at those guys just trapped there, so I can just kind of just kind of stay where I am and just throw water after water until they're gone. I only what have I even got to curse? Oh my shield. This rage combat of fortune. I'm not going to worry about that one. Because I can wait till I get a decent cast. Maybe something with the elements would be nice. Or just any old useful skills will do, really, at this point. Also, it's uh, 10 o'clock and Tennyson turned up. I'll go see if he left any message. I don't think he did, because I did check Discord this morning. Oh, he says it'll be rage go at the usual time. Nope. Sorry, I'll be calling it off today as well. I actually think I'm going to take a hiatus for a while. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Don't know what's going on there, but apparently he can't, uh, can't make it today, I guess. They do now. Just bring out some more of these little freezing cannons, even if they don't do a lot. Rev, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what's going on. Doesn't sound like, uh. Doesn't sound like he's doing. Oh, he must be busy or something, because I know last time he was busy. I don't know. Sounds like you could almost make it today, though. Wait, I should have looked at what that portal was, shouldn't I? It's probably just like another hell or something. Oh, it's a trove. So that's how, like, Ashes are actually tells you exactly what the portal is. Oh, I can do another radiate. I don't want to do a third one, though, because then I'll get myself contaminated and start uh, taking mal mutations. This character's done a pretty good job of avoiding the mal mutations so far because I haven't been using a radiate as my main spell.
Right, I've barely been using it. Don't melee combat a big guy like that doesn't help me out. Oh, there's lots of dudes guarding this. I'm still gonna pop it open. There we go. There's just vault guards so I can check what it wants. It wants a. Oh, four scrolls are blinking. I've barely got any of those, right? I've got exactly four, so Terry could go in, but I'm not going to give it my last scroll of blinking. That's a terrible idea. Oh. That's a fallen curse skull. That would have been guarding the crypt here. I might just lignify. Can maybe get it with a bombard. Don't have a shatter or anything, unfortunately. Wait, why did my spellcaster get worse when I lignified? What did it melt? Did it melt my hat? Surely trees can wear hats, so apparently they can't write that. Uh, I'm the refrigerate, but that's not going to help much against it. I guess I just try and bombard it again. Okay, I'm out of magic points. But I did kill it. Uh, I've got one core resist. What do I do to this guy with amount of magic points? Can I buy burst it? Yes. Almost got this guy. I should just be able to tie by the lava, although it doesn't help that more creatures are coming along. It should just actually be able to go upstairs, get everything back, and then try that all, all over again. Oh, that wasn't everything. I think it was warning me that my gem was about to explode or something. Either way, it didn't really matter. Right. What's the chance of this guy paralyzing me? Do I need a potion? I think I can... Oh, that's all right. I was going to say, I think I could just kill it, but uh, I didn't have my Hellfire Mortar charged up. I maybe should actually enlighten, I think. Yeah, that would be the sensible thing to do. Does it melt curses? I'm actually honestly not sure. Might do. Oh, huh, actually, I think it does. I think I've heard that the shapeshifters it does melt the curses, and I presume trees would follow the usual shapeshifting rules. Oh, range combat and cutting? I'm not getting the curse I want here. Yeah, so that would also make quite a bit of big difference. It would just be an intelligence. How do I get these guys away from me? Could try... Oh, I could actually... No, refrigerator probably doesn't work. I could just try bombard. That didn't actually work that well. At least they're not doing too much to me, so I can just run back. Oh, well, it's not dead yet. Uh, anything. <laughs> Cannon chart, anything. I got an armor shop trying to sell me just basic armor, scale mail, pulse of energy. Nah, no, does that everything good? Oh, like, I don't know. Is gold dragon armor too heavy to ask for? I kind of want it anyway. <laughs> I feel like I could probably get some gold dragon armor going. I like how the mod like, seems to cast every turn because so many of the spells just, uh, have a random chance of doing something, like the Sotor and stuff. So you can sometimes just get tons when they don't do anything, whereas the Hellfire model just keeps on bombarding things over and over and over with the fire. Device of sorcery. Okay. I do use evocations, I do use alchemy, I do use conjurations. I guess that's alright. Sure, let's put it on my shield. Now, some of us might be out of range anyway, maybe. I'm not sure. I 
What are those guys doing? They were just like wandering around confused. I guess they were trying to get to my monitor or something. It's kind of funny because I think the monitor was off view, so it just looked like they turned confused for a second, but no, I'm pretty sure they're after my monitor. Uh, should I actually radiate this guy, shouldn't I? Because it's actually fairly dangerous. It's got the whole paralysis thing going for it. Also, there's way too many guys here that can just... summon in allies. Um... Oh, I'll have to get the allies in. Okay. Okay, keeps hitting me with something. I like that Zot trap there. Um, right, it can fly. What can I actually do? I'm getting low on magic points. I could teleport out of here. Could refrigerate. Not that I actually don't need to. And those guys are mute cold anyway. Should keep the Hellfire modus going, I think. There we go. Now I'm free for basically all these guys, so I can just. Run back and burn things. My, wait, wait. Was I drained? What drained me? I guess one of these guys had a attack that did that. I don't remember swapping any armor or anything that uh, drained me or any weapons, any draining items. I thought it would be the easiest, uh, like, crystal guardian I've ever fought and just got trapped behind lava and couldn't do it. I don't think because those ones are really nasty, but they make you fragile and they hit you with a. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's kind of like a crystal spear, except. Well, it does, like, enough damage that it might as well be a crystal spear. I think it's actually slightly lower damage, but. I don't know, it always feels like being hit with a crystal spear. Uh, I didn't take out the jellyfish except I might have distracted it. Wait, why is this? I guess it's just a separate area. <laughs> Wait, there's a great... O-O-E? Sim is just the orb? Wait, I'm confused about what that means. Oh, I feel like I'm not, uh, not quite following what I'm uh, marked right now. Basic ogres? What is a basic ogre doing in here? I mean, I guess you do get basic creatures, well, basic ogres in here sometimes. Oh, it feels weaker than your average vault sky. Usually it's like dial and stuff, not basic ogres. I'm no, getting so much use of this Hellfire model. Oh, the polar vortex on 36%. If I was to break my ring of evasion, I could put on some wizardry instead. Could I get that going? I think there's a good chance I could get that going. Uh, do I drop the magical power? I might. Yeah, let's give it a try. So I can shatter the curse on that ring. And I can just replace it with an armor one or whatever afterwards if I need to. Or an intelligence or something. 
Yeah, 22%, that's not that much better. Maybe I'll try the intelligence, see if that's better. No, it's 36% failure. Huh. I'll take it down to 22%. I'll try and give it a, give it a go there. Does the Hellfire Mod care if there's a pole of Vortex going? Because I don't think it minds if I damage it, although I do damage it. And like, it does take the damage. I just think it just doesn't care. Like, it doesn't instantly go away or turn hostile or something. We're going through a jelly room is so slow. Wait, did I just see a death tally spin? Yeah. Huh. If I wanted to go extended, I've got a death tally spin. Wait, how's that not connected? Oh, it is connected. I just separated with lava before, so the order exploded and want to go into it. Fair enough, I guess. Am I good for the Elven Halls? I'm not really good for the Elven Halls, am I? Because I've got no willpower. Um, There was a ring of willpower for sale, was there? Or was there something else? No, there wasn't. It was probably an acquirement that I took something else from. Alright. I'll go to... not Oh, not the Orchid Mines. I'll go to Depths. Gonna work... Oh, that's way too many miscasts. Okay, well, I guess not. I'm badly contaminated. Um, and also a lot of magic points. I might just have to use some wands here because these guys aren't that tough. You know what? Whopping might actually be a good idea. What am I taking the way of mutations here? Nothing? I guess that's not too bad, but I thought with 22% failing, I mean, I guess failing three times in a row is understandable. Alright, let's see if the mod cares or not. Uh, I mean, it actually did kill it, didn't it? Yeah, you destroy your Hellfire mod, okay. So that's finally something that can actually do damage to my Hellfire mod, or it's myself. Oh, whoops. Uh, Hellfire mod is still out. What is that? Still 21% failure. I'm focusing on the ice, right? I reckon ice is the right thing to get. Um... Well, it's the next. I could probably attract a ton of guys by casting the Polar Vortex. Because I think that's pretty noisy. Only level 19? Right, I haven't done the Spider Nest, have I? So you might go to the Spider Nest. Hopefully I don't get too many miscasts here. Wait, why don't I get there? I'll try out excluding things. Uh... I hope it helps throwing a mortar out that way. Alright, I'm gonna separate these guys by pu pulling these guys upstairs. Oh, my Vortex more out, that's fine. It's a Radiate. There we go. So, Jor Jorgrad is gone. I think the Jorogamo died as well. Oh, there's Rupert? Uh... I think I'll start by whopping these guys. Spread them out a little bit. Okay. Oh, so many different spells go to a higher level? Yeah. I mean, this character certainly didn't stick to one thing, did they? Um, I might irradiate. There we go. Contaminated, unfortunately. Just a little bit too much irradiate, but I don't think it mal mutated me. Man, so many uniques. I'm glad I lost this so after Vault Slow. This would have been. Oh my goodness, look at all those. Would have been nasty. In fact, this is still nasty. Kind of got a lot of ways of doing like damage over time because, uh, well, basically everything does. What do I have to curse? Oh, my ring wizardry. Eh, whatever. It's not even a good curse. Ah, shit, I don't think that guy needs, uh... 
full on like polyphonics to deal with it. It's just a little spider. Ah, whatever. I'll do a polyphonics. Or not. Oh, I got myself contaminated. Okay, maybe the. Mm, I mean, the contamination is worn down, but maybe I should be very careful now and not use on the little spiders. This guy fire resistant? I know something in here is fire resistant, but it might not be this one. It's not that one. Uh, those ones got changed around, like, now they've got lots of regen, and they used to be fire resistant. It's, oh, it's a fire moss that goes, uh, sun moss. Sun moss, that's the one. Although I do have a few invisibility potions for dealing with ghost moths at least. And I can see invisibility, and I reckon the sun moths will be fine. They can just be polar vortex or whatever. If I can even get that mod castable 60% failure. Man, I feel like those uh, nice simple spells really don't balance for land branches. No, it definitely does quite a bit. That's a toughest now, isn't it? So my uh, Hellfire Mortar got slowed. Yeah, there it is. Well, if I had fly, I could get over the webs by using a, like a mortar and then running over the lava, but I don't have fly, so that doesn't work. But it's just something you could do, because it does get rid of traps. In fact, you could use a zone as well, like there's a badly positioned trap or something. You can just shoot a hellfire mortar over it, and then just fly over. Which could be worthwhile just like using a potion flight for that if you had to. Uh... Oh, that's not it. Oh, oh. It's a late for the invisibility now. I didn't see the moth until a little bit later on, but it was fine. I did get my spell going. Oh, hey, Zach. I might bring them back a little bit. What's he got? It's always Venom, isn't it? So he's got a line to take Venom. I think he's fine. Okay. Right. Try to blow me up with a prism, but I think that's fine as well. And he's dead, good. I think there's still a little bit of weirdness with how that prism works, because he can't uh, blow himself up with it. But if you mirror him, I think his mirrored version... Oh, he can't blow up his allies either, I think, but I think if you mirror him, his mirrored version isn't quite right. Like, I think it can blow you up or something. I seem to remember that being a thing. Ah, yeah, those are just patches where I'm dug into the wall. That's fine. Uh, so I can throw it over the structure, but that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, tight anyway. Sorry to get back because I didn't want to run bad trick points, but it wasn't being too bad. Uh... If I did a polar vortex, it would probably push the of oh, destruction off track, but that guy did the trick as well. They could kind of block it with that guy.
I already get as many of those as the Paul of Onyx as I could, which seems to be taking them out really quickly. This is only a third level, so no rune for me on here. Oh, five enchant up. What am I even going to enchant? Introspection companions. Do I want to... I don't use companions, but I do use introspection because that's fighting and spellcasting. Everyone uses that one, basically. Um... Ah, did hit me. Oh, whoops. It's fine. It's a little wounded right now. Just stay next to the guy that can throw orbs as a structure. I don't want to die like sudden death to an orbs of strudge or something. That's never the best way to die. I've had that happen before, like, I think. Might be just springing or something. Is that what loyal health characters have to die to an orb of destruction in here? It's not a lot of room around me, but I think the polyvotics will still do the job. Yeah. Oh, fine, I'll start another Vortex. That's fine, it's going to blink around, I might as well finish it off. That must be really reliable now. 9% on the Pole Vortex, that's what I like to see. I mean, I won't swap my rings around just yet, I'll keep the Wizardry on, of course. Because I wouldn't be reliable without the Wizardry. Do I have Elements and Companions? On my Wizardry? Don't think so. I might just drink a cure and get rid of some of this poison because I got way too many curing. Because I can't get confused as Nash and Zari characters, so I basically just got to build up the curing. Uh. I'll throw out another one of these guys. There we go. Just make sure that Orbs of Strange doesn't hit me. That's another way that you could die in here that the Scarab to Card. You could get... Oh, that was not the right thing. I think that was a... What was that? A Stone Arrow or something? No, Stone Arrow. The high level one. But another way you could die in here is just get, like, confused by... Well, these uh, Tarantella guys. In fact, I've had a problem before with those guys who just refused, uh, confused me over and over and over. And I was trying to get up the staircase and it just wouldn't work. Do I go invisible? Oh, might as well. So let's see invisible. Yes, good. I like how a lot of the, like, the sort of newer sort of summoning spells and stuff can see invisible. It does help a lot because it can be really frustrating to try to take out something invisible with... Oh, what was, uh, what's the spell that... Uh, Servitor, I think, that can't see invisible. It's like it's a really good spell, but it can't see invisible things. Hey, Mara. It's fine. Yep, Polyvotics is gone. No surprises there. Got enough magic points to take care of everyone else, but I don't think I've got enough to take care of Mara. I might just back up because I do have the magic region on, so at least I'll get some magic points so I back up. Probably about the same range they use some casting things uh, while backing up. There we go. And I should be able to kill Mara when I'm back full of magic points and stuff. There we go. He's dead. Yup. No problems. Uh, just polar vortex. None of those guys are going to survive it. I like how I'm kind of using it more than one spell, because sometimes you get characters that just kind of get stuck with one spell, become a one trick pony, basically. No, this character's got a two, maybe three spells I cast. I haven't been doing my refrigeration, though. Maybe we should do some of that. 
Yeah, whoops. That's fine. I best cast my polar vortex, so I might just no, not my burst. Warping? Quicksilver? Warping is alright, I guess. Was that over destruction specifically? I think it was specifically targeted at my um fiery dude. My uh mortar. Oops. How am I suddenly ending up using my uh how was it called? My Bombard all of a sudden now. It's not what I meant to be using, but I seem to be accidentally casting it a lot recently. Alright, what have we got to got? I don't really care about the hat. Especially not the same invisible one, because I've already got that. Oh, a potion of experience? I mean, I'm always happy for a bit of extra experience. Put me up a level. Yeah, those skills are good. Just get some intelligence. I'm not actually that high a level because I haven't done the uh, yeah, Elven Halls yet, because I don't have the willpower for it. Or is this like for this poison? It's just a robe. Robes are a bit light. Alright, well, I guess back to depths, right? That's probably the right place to go. And then I guess afterwards, elf. Because if I get the gloves of hurling, I got the gloves of dex. If I get banished to the higher level, I'm still really noisy though. I'm not sure I'd be very good at being banished. No, I feel like I just kind of got to try and get some willpower before I go to the elven halls. And I love being in the center of a group creature with a ball of onyx going. It feels so good. Uh... Do I want devices? What am I trying to curse? I don't think I'm trying to curse anything. Got four percent. Let me try the intelligence ring. See how that goes. I've got uh, seven percent fail the ball of onyx. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's a bit more failure, but it's a bit more spell power, so it's kind of a bit of a trade-off. I'm fragile? Not yet. Oh, do I get to fly with the lava while I've got the polar vortex going? I guess I do. Because I want to be if I really wanted to step on it when I've got, like, the temporary flight. I know that, like, enemies that get swept up in my polar vortex get to fly. I didn't realize that I got to fly as well. Using a mortar against a fire dragon key is kind of funny, but it did the trick. So I'm not going to question it. Right, where's my way down? What have we got down here? We've got arcade power. Uh, it's one of these. It's pretty obvious which one. It's the one that looks like it. I'll go and see which one it is. I think most of these are probably fine, but not all of them. I can. Oh, I guess I leave the shield outside. Minus teleport shield. Uh. Probably don't need the wizard anymore. I do have a ring of flight now. Interesting. Like, look at that stuff. Cold. Hmm. Probably can't quite use it yet. But I still need the poison resist, unfortunately. Could leave the amnesia outside. There's probably something else useless right now. It's probably, ah, oh, it's probably fine. Four of them slots. Let's go in. Who could move? Oh, this one, you gotta be quick. Because it summons creatures, in theory. I don't get it here. I think I just gotta keep on traveling. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, the boss guy up there. He's a statue.
There he goes, statue of Wu Ken Mu. So he's got, I mean, he's got this crystal spear on him. Not his crystal spear's orb. He's got draining gaze and he can't see invisible. Man. I ain't gonna have draining gaze, but he's dead anyway. Uh, so that crystal, it's like a, like an orb of, what is it? It's like an orb of energy, except uh, better. Like it does more, oh, another experience. Does more, oh, and fighting. Just does more, <laughs> really. Okay, uh, might as well turn the fighting back on. Keep it going till we run out of manual. View of the fallen cost of hibernation. All right, sure. Anyway, I'm done with this place. That wasn't too bad. I just had to hit straight for the boss and kill him off. There's an enchantress or something here? Because there's enough spriggans hanging around. The good thing is I could get it confused by the enchantress because I did take Ash and Zari. Uh, I don't want to do it. I kind of just want to pull the Vortex again, but I'm going to have to wait for that one to charge back up. Oh, right, checking uh, what Wukad Moo does. Oh, what the? Is that telling you about the artifact? Oh, yeah, it is. 40% chance to refund spells you cast, and 100% chance to refund cast spells you miscast. Oh, the GD can't use it. Fair enough, I guess. They don't use energy, they use hit points. I would have thought it was more exciting than double. Wait, I thought it used to be triple. Oh, is it only double? I guess that's fine. Oh, ow, so many rocks to the face there. I do need more defense on this character, don't I? Um... Do I have a train at shields? I mean, I'll train a bit. I'll train a bit more. Oh, right. I can't, uh, I can't send my thing through doors. That's right. It goes through trees. It goes through walls. But apparently doors are enough to stop my little cannon from making progress. Okay. Did I miss Kyle? It did. It also got, like, blasted back a huge ton as well. Ow. It's fine. I think this needs a healing potion, actually. So I forgot my... That's actually not good. Um... I just fog up for a little while and try to get a little bit of health. Yeah, I took too many rocks to the face, which is not great. All right, there we go. They got me out there. Oh, you think this sphere, sphere of battle is exciting? I've never really got to use that one much. Because that's the one that brings that, what is it, proof your... Um, I don't need to... Uh, what is it, proof your conjuration and give you... A little battle sphere or something? Don't know, I just really haven't got to use it a lot, so I don't really know how good it is. I was going to entice you out of shields, the, uh, the Wukan Mook, yeah. I, mean, I don't think this guy has too many magic point problems, not enough to entice him out of shields. So I just go up, I might just wait a couple of turns. And then go up. I wonder if I don't think it transform lava, because I don't think they dig walls and stuff. But if I made lava, I'm just wondering if I don't think it transform that into something else, because that would be kind of funny. I'm not sure if there is anything that specifically works with lava. I guess not. Oh, you did eventually drop it for the... Oh, you got it recently on a Conjurer 
But also a strong building to eventually drop for shield. Right, that makes sense. Oh, speaking of evasion, I don't have any evasion either. <laughs> yeah, but it does sound like early on that could be really, really nice. Um, especially since early on you don't really want to use a shield anyway because you don't have the skill. Oh, uh, what have we got here? Some demons? I mean, it's not going to last too long. Yeah, Polar Vortex <laughs> takes it out. Doesn't matter if it's got the summoners blocking. Uh, yep, I mean, that works. Reflection. Wasn't quite the plan there, but it, it did the trick. What is this manual? It's a uh, good old stealth. I don't think I'm going to be particularly stealthy. I haven't had a lot of stealthy characters, honestly. It's not, uh, I mean, it can be helpful, but it's not something I tend to do personally. That guy's going to just type on. There we go. Oh, with no shield and no evasion. Uh, crystal spears and cloud blinds are too annoying. Yeah, the crystal spears could definitely be bad with no evasion. Very bad with no evasion. I guess they could be blocked with shields at least. Just kind of got to have one of those things. I mean, this character's trying to go for shields, but they haven't got very far with it. Oh, it's my way down. Not too, no fobs out of the polar vortex. That's a failure. That's not too bad. Right, because I trade a bunch of... I mean, trade a bunch of ice, but I haven't traded that many other things. Anyway, let's go down, see what we've got downstairs. What are those cold books? Um... If I want to find that cold book, do I want to find out in the open or not? Oh. Uh, there's a full on ice feed. Uh, I don't even have like full magic points. Might just fog up and retreat back a little bit. Yeah, because there's still all these other guys around. Plus it's got a, uh, okay, it's, uh, it's vulnerable to fire. How wounded am I? Okay, it's still fine. I think I can get back to the staircase. It got me with one of its torments, but it didn't get me, like, double or triply tormented. Just when you start getting into real problems, because then any other creature can finish you off. In fact, even that one can finish me off. It got me, like, tormented enough. Because I don't have a huge amount of cold resistance, it does have its bolt of cold. Okay. Malik of Fortune. I don't even remember what I got cursed more a ring of intelligence to see. But I should probably just find another ring. None of those look massively tempting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to find like another artifact or something. Okay, think this guy hit me with a rock or something? It did enough damage anyway. Maybe it actually punched me in melee. I mean, it could not have done either, really. Um, uh... Huh. I'll get back to that circuit. I might just pull the vortex and run. That often seems to work. It doesn't work the best in corridors, but I think it's doing good enough to get me back to the staircase at least. Oh, what can I do to this guy? Just catalyst. 
It's kind of annoying how it keeps on asking if I really want to cast the Pole of Onyx whenever I've got the um, Hellfire Mordor out there. Ooh, Poison Resist, Ring of Fire Resist, and Strength, but minus a little bit of Dex. Um... Yeah, maybe. Huh? Tell me I don't see any monsters. I know they're going to come around that corner. But I mean, it's fair enough not letting me castle, I guess, when there's no monsters around. Well, it does let me castle. I just had to use capital Z instead. It's fair enough having a different shortcut for it. Did I still have that portion of experience? I should definitely go drink that one now. Uh, what I could do here is I could just put on the polar vortex. There we go. And now I'm on the middle of the island. And as a, what is it? Uh, Maxwell's passive coupling. Ah, uh, yeah. That's an air spell, so I don't think I'm ever going to get that castable. That's one thing I didn't get into. Do I want to... If I put on this ring, can I still cast? Bob said, yeah, that's fine. So what I could do is I could break my weapon, and then I could put on... Um, I had another weapon, didn't I? I have a Staff of Cold, I think was something I wanted to use. That uh, curse is not that good. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to blow this one up, so it's elemental, unfortunately. But oh well. Um, I can bring the ice magic back. So for no eight percent failure, so I do have a bit of failure. But I want to get a bit of power going on this cold. <laughs> it's funny I do polyphonics to just travel over water, but it does the trick. It's a good old night though, flight spell. <laughs> Oh, it sure is. Um, wait, how protective is this shield? It's similar to the HD or increased by three. Ah, oh, it's pretty similar. I don't think I'll worry about it. Mid make my spell slightly more castable, but yeah, whatever. Are there any other spells that let you fly, or is it just like polar vortex? Oh, it's, it's not that I can think of. Uh, I want the shields to keep it going. I want the eyes to keep it going. I really don't know what other things I can get. I mean, there's lots of things I can get. Probably shields and armor are the important things to get. Try and protect this character up a bit. Because I do feel a bit behind in my defenses. Don't take my resist good. I've still got everything apart from the resist negative. Just making sure. Hey there, Oswald. How's it going? What's up? Uh, uh, curses are up, apparently. Yep, lots of curses today. <laughs> no, this is a fun Ash and Zari character, because they got uh, they got their high-level spells going. They got everything going. This character's doing great. How are you going, Oswald? You got any characters gone? No, it certainly feels, uh, it feels a lot better than after I try to do those Headmaster challenges. This just feels actually playable. I seem to remember, like, really old versions of this game, you couldn't mix ice and fire very well. If you got, like, scale of one, it would reduce your aptitude in the other. A bit like cross-training, except anti-cross-training. But how long that's been removed, because now you can just do both just fine. Oh, you did the Coughlin, uh Extended last night with Manifold Assault? Nice. No, Manifold Assault, I mean, that like, kind of has been extended now, doesn't it, with this higher level? No, I think Coughlin's are pretty good with it. Oh, the present makes it a diss. I mean, diss is one of the harder hells, right? I mean, why would it be good at diss? Does do any damage for some reason? Oh, that's more of a Coughlin problem, actually. Um, right, because you have two separate weapons, which means you double check armor class, and it, lots of the things in diss have endless armor class, like the eye golems. Oh, and the corrosion as well. So yeah, both your weapons are corroded. 
Yeah, no, uh, that's uh, definitely more of a Coglin problem. Uh, they do not like uh, this at all. What is this? Introspection companions. That's all right. I might put on my stuff cold, I guess. Yeah, bring that uh, fighting up a little bit. Though there's not too much more for that fighting to actually go. It's almost kind of maxed out. Also, I should maybe think about a title at some stage on this character. Just, uh, am I, do I actually have any Ash ones left? I feel like maybe if I smashed all my gear, I'd be able to get an Ash one. Oh, did the shield fall into the lava? I think it does. Huh. Our murdered uh, pandemonium wanted to get uh, this out of the way. Huge mistake. Yeah, no, that's... I remember the first time I did, I think they were called Steel Elves back then, but they're basically Coglins. And they just, uh, they were really OP. Uh, apart from this, then they struggled. Because of the extra corrosion. And the extra armor class that everything had. I don't know if I've done this with a Coglin in ages. It's not a... Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Polybotics. I just want to cast again. I know I don't really need to. I could have used anything else for take care of. Also, let me look at spells. I want to see if there's anything good here. There's Death Store. I don't have, like, Shatter or anything, do I? I do have Ignition if I want to do a Ziggurat or something. Um, I've heard their scaling got changed around, so I could give one a try. I don't know. Oh, Fashion Diary does a lot of Ziggurats. I've been mean, getting your spells cast, but I guess it's nice. That's kind of nice everywhere. That what this area, because this... Oh, hey, Jory. This almost looks like it's the area that's guarding uh, Zod, except I've already seen the entrance to Zod, so... It's not. <laughs> I mean, these random, like, statues and stuff in the way. <laughs> You're bumping into them. Little pillars, I think that one was. Oh, what's your favorite spell in the game? Um, I don't know. It's got to be out there with, like, Dragon School? Dragon School is definitely going to be out there. Such a fun spell. I mean, there's a lot of good spells to ch uh, choose from. I used to like Manifold Assault a lot, but that was back when it was fourth level. I haven't really cast it much anymore. So I don't really have so much of an opinion on it anymore. It's been a while since my internet's died on me, but it does still do that occasionally. And what's the character is that? Is that like a Shining One worshipping Tengu or something? All right, well, I'm back into the game at least. Oh, were you saying that you had a manifold so usable for S branches? How did you even get that? I mean, I know you, you said you got a wizardry augment, but still. I guess that was only a 7th level spell, but you must have focused really carefully into getting that manifold so going. This place is kind of closed off. Actually, I will fly. Can I? This guy doesn't fly, does it? I don't think so. Uh, oh, right, we forced to trade 14 translocations. That's right, for the um the funny skill training that it required you to have. No, that makes sense. Is that a... I guess it was wizardry that might actually be enough to somewhat get a castable. Uh... Oh, I don't like that ball of draining. Can I just irradiate the guy? Good. I don't think it got some gold dragon armor, unfortunately, because I would wear it if I got it. Well, it would probably take me a little while to get it going. Um. Uh. Oh, I can't let that petrify me. I've got to cancel that, don't I?
Yep, it's my best. Thanks, so. Okay. All right, radiated again. Don't want to get too irradiated here. Oh, it's pretty nice to have a swamp though with two flaming scimitars. Yeah, because with two flaming scimitars, you can basically guarantee Tyrants die before they even get up to you, right? Okay, it's a little bird. A little shrike after me. Good aim for skills. What did I just trade up? I think I got the ice back to where it was. Um... Do I just start working on... Wait. It's gotta do some armor. I might get doing some more armor, actually. Oh, well, that wasn't as far as I could have made that one go. I could have made it go just a little bit farther, but it's fine. So many walls around here. It's making my pole politics hard to cancel. So is that more shrikes? More shrikes than that. Uh, at least I removed a wall. No, it's juggernauts and stuff. It's all sorts of things. Oh, misgust. Oh, I'm misguided again. Come on. That's not what I need. I'm going to run the magic points of that, right? Um, do not regenerate with monster numbers. Well, I might go reset that if I've got a decent number of mutation portions. I got seven. I mean, that's probably at a point where... Is that at a point where I reset it? I don't know. Yeah, let's give it a go. Sure. Oh, spells are less powerful. I made it worse. I might reset it again. I don't want to use all my potions up. Let's see. So I got strength, dex, minus one inch. And my uh, camouflage. Yeah, that's probably better. I don't know if I really need to reset that because I don't think I had a lot of sorts of um, regen anyway. Oh, well. Let's reset now. I was almost like fire resist, like could swap it out with anything I wanted, I think. Because I've already got another fire resist from my ring. Ah, oh, slowed by the Sphinx. Uh actually maybe we should go check. Paralysis on twenty percent, right? So I do want to actually Lighten. Wait, sneak? What about sneaking? I feel like I missed the context of that. Was I managing to sneak past some of these creatures? I'm not sure. Uh, all right, that's a juggernaut. Oh, I got stealth plus twice. Oh, okay, sure. Right, because I know I had the stealth bounty before. I didn't realize I got a separate one there to add to my collection of manuals. Okay, let's pull these back. That's not going to hit it, I think. But I might be able to stay at this distance. Oh, those crystal spears will get up to me, won't they? So if they just try to hit my dude, that's not too bad. Um, oh, the mutes. Right, I do have the... Oh, I do actually... Yeah, that's true. The thin scouts will get stealth as well. Oh, so I have reason to be stealthy. Actually, that's my only source of stealth because I'm... Wearing some heavier armor. Well, medium armor, really. It's not really heavy. I think this will clean up the spells, right? Good. 
That's what I was kind of back you on there that the polar vortex would do a bunch of clean up for me. Oh, hey, thanks for the gifted sub there, Oswald. Gifted to I am Nas. Wait, Nas, I think the... I think I've seen the plans of the tournament. So they get like a really good run, like a turn count one. I hope Sally would get it. <laughs> I mean, I think you can specifically gift subs to people. I just can't remember how you do it. I think it is a thing you can do. Technically. I don't need the helmet to see him as well. I think I've still got my hand of intelligence on, except it's a fancy one. Like, oh, it's a lot of smiting. Um, just back up. Oh, you specifically gifted us up to Sally Rose as well. All right, you figured it out. Oh, thanks for all the subs there, Oswald. Let me just hide around this corner and hopefully one of the books will follow. Oh, this might do. How much health do the smite books have? Because I think the... I think the book tends to do is smiting reasonably quickly so they don't hang around too long. Some of the other spells hang around for a while. Oh, now you've got all the emotes there, Sally. What emotes do I have? I should make some more. Because I think I do have some emote slots unlocked now, so I think I can actually go make some more. Um, because I think Twitch added, like, more animated emotes, right? For everyone. And I think I've still got, like, a non-animated emote slot that I haven't filled up as well. I don't know, I'm not particularly good at any sort of uh, graphic art there. Oh, you timed yourself out? Wait, who timed yourself out? Oswald did. That looks like it worked as well. <laughs> well, I never trust that automatic timeout to work, but it always does seem to work. I feel like it's more reliable than some of the other things. Uh, I know sometimes it's like... Uh, People following you sometimes, sometimes you just don't get a notification or whatever, but no, that one seems reliable. Pull these guys back. This is my closest they got to an empty room. Oops. Is the bird a Pukeko? I think that bird is in fact a Pukeko. At least I hope so. That's what it's meant to be. Oh, I quite like Fukekos. Uh, they don't, they aren't really, like, really close to where I live. But there's, like, a park that's, like, I don't know, what would it be? Probably under half an hour driveway where you can find Fukekos wandering around. Because yeah, they don't do the, like, uh, more built-up areas. They tend to like it, um, kind of areas that have got a bit of, uh, bit more wild. Come on, it's some armor for me. No, no armor. Yeah, well. Always the next one to try, I guess. But there might be more gold dragons, because I can see two more dangerous things in here. Uh, that looks fine. Oh, Urgh, it got me started petrifying. I really should have lightened up. I guess I'll have to cancel up now. Oh, I did it again. Oh, come on. I'll drink the cancellation. I was going to try bring, I was going to try drink my enlightenment. I just didn't get a ton in there because I wanted my polar vortex going. What do I want to do now? I want to get... Didn't have shatter, did I? Bring the spellcasting up a little bit, but, um... Oh, wait, I need to start working on a title, actually, don't I? Actually, I should probably just work on a title. That's not a bad idea. Which... What can I actually get as a title? I'm a dwarf? 
I probably have the Dwarven Shield one. Let me just go check what I've had. What is Dwarf? It's MD, right? Or Mountain Dwarf. Oh. That's a lot of titles. Hold on, I've had... Okay, I've had a Quasar one. Um, Who Hides the Stars? I think it's this one. Bring it, bring it Blast me, okay? Have Ballster, which is throwing. Barricade, which is shields. Catastrophe is another Quasar one. Uh, Merry Dwarf, Metalomancer, Red Shapeless, Troop. Okay, so I've had the, um, Talisman one as well. Shapeshifting, whatever it is. I haven't had any of the ranged ones, though, have I? I haven't been a Merry Dwarf, have I? That would be so much work going for that one, though. Um. Yeah. Oh, where do I have to go? I think it's probably time for the Elven Halls. I think I've technically got one Ash and Zari one left or something. That's an impressive number of Mountain Dwarves. Yeah, I think I'll like, uh, Mountain Dwarves are a really fun race to play. I've played so many of them because they, yeah, they're just fun. Uh, I gotta get a little bit more shields. No keyword. With Zyke? Wait, is that the... I guess those are the wrong order, right? So it would be... If I did it, it would probably work. Because I wouldn't have to put in my name then. Uh, look at some unwanted MDs. Thinking about it. Oh, there it goes. So I've got an Aerolintalist, Alchemist, Cinderacolite, Berserker... There's still plenty of things to go. What did I start this one as again? I can't even remember. Ice element is what I think, right? I kind of kept with the ice as well, so... Ah, it was minus resist on that weapon, I thought, so... Of course, it's not anything good. Oh, hey, Zanana. Uh, I didn't get my vile floods on her. Still can't get my vile floods on her. Oh, she summoned more. Oh, I'm teleporting out. Right. Well, when I get back to her, hopefully I can get a vial of floods on her. Oh, there's, that's listing all the unwanted playable characters? Why would it list all of them? Oh, permafrost eruption. Do I want that? Where is it? I think I kind of do. L3 will have death days, but I think I already found one of those Oswald, actually. So if I wanted to go extended, uh, that could be an option as well. I could just get a death tally, but I go extended. I'm not sure how good Ash and Zarya's were extended, but I would have above average skills. It wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. Sounds like Pandemonium would be kind of painful, though. Uh, could do it. Oh, we need one more turn. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had one anyway. Let me just do a double check on that. Huh? Oh, I spelled Delth. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's on Volts 4, just sitting there. And Tornado, it used to be Tornado. Now it's a Fall of Vortex. It's a, it's a very good spell. Hey, finally I can get my violin. Uh... I guess it's a Polar Vortex plus that dude plus the Radiate. There we go. I think I should get try and get some Chain Lightning. Do I have it? If I had it, if I had it, it might be worth getting. Let's see. A Capacitive Company. We've got Crystal Sphere. Got Sevtor. Um. Can I just search for like nine. No, I don't think so. Search for a spell? It's not a... Oh, what's That's not what I meant to do. This would have... Blink. That's not quite what I'm after. 
Blink as well? What was the first one then? I don't know. I think they both just got Blink in them. They don't look that useful by the looks of things, unfortunately. What would you consider to be the single most powerful spell in the game? Uh, hmm. Maybe Firestorm? It just toss up between like Firestorm and Dragon's Cool. Although, yeah, I don't think Paul Vortex is quite, although it's still pretty good against certain things. Oh, do you think it's Chain Lightning? I mean, that's actually not a bad spell. Chain Lightning's definitely... I haven't had it in ages because it's like an ice spell, but like... It is totally worth getting. I've had a lot of fun with genies that got Chain Lightning and just went around and electrocuted everyone. Right, so why is this green uh, irresistible? I think it's... I mean, a lot of the Nithil ones are like half irresistible, right? Do you want some devices of fortune? Sure. Let's do it. I don't know how much that helps the skills. Oh, the fighting's almost there. <laughs> Might as well get it up to 27. Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm sure I'll get a death talent when going. It shouldn't be too bad. I've got a little bit of device event. I just got another device's curse, so... That should make it even easier to get the death tallies when going. Oh, the tab frenzy of your genie of Mac level chain lighting. Yeah, no, genie of Mac level chain lighting is definitely good because it can kill things next to you, it can kill things a bit farther away. And then as you kill things, you get back the health you lose, so you're kind of kind of pretty good. I haven't played GD in ages because I there's no uh, GD combos that got left unwon. I think it was uh, the first race that I managed to get a uh, greater player on was the GDs. And then I think I did Draconians after that when I was going for tier match. Uh, is this staircase down here right? I might hit to that one. I hate Roxanne. I think I'll just stack back, stick back from Roxanne. That didn't work quite as well as I thought. I thought, oh, that's just a good spot to go back to a staircase if I need one, but nope, it was a Roxanne. But well, you still have a decent chance of making it back. Oh, wait, do I have the permafrost eruption? Excellent, another guy down. I really do want to go up, but... I don't quite have a way up right now. Um, That's not it. What am I after? K. There we go. Oh, I will try and go up. There we go. Now I can finally get my health back. Well, not quite because there's a weapon here, though. I can probably just lock that one out. There we go. <laughs> that works. Oh, you think the summon start might be the second best start uh, there at Sando 1? Oh, hey, Sando 1, I didn't notice you saying hello there. How goes the crawling? This character's going well. No, this character's, uh, they got Polo Vortex. What else do you want, right? No, it's definitely, definitely doing well. Oh, blinking. Let me get around that. Um, Charm Dom is good as well. I need an emulation. I've been using my emulation. I maybe should be emulating some guys. I always see you play summoners. I've got a... I've got a dash of quite a few summoners going. I think you're vaguely going for, like, greater summoner. They're definitely going to be out there in the starts that I like playing. Yeah, definitely. But the, the problem with summoners is, like, um, like playing them with Sif Mata, and I ran out of Sif Mata titles, so <laughs> I haven't played them in a little while. All right, you want Sans, uh, you use the username? Yep, no, I'm saying. <laughs> what server did you play on again, uh, Sand? The one I can't remember. I think I did see you playing on one of the servers. I know it's, uh, I know it's definitely not the Aussie server. 
I should actually check out those that shop because it's books. If any of those are ninth level, I might be able to use them. Oh, I'm just gonna use my ninth level fly spell. Whoops. Because <laughs> why not? Just to get to a bookshop, so we've got a uh, plasma beam. That's not quite what I'm after. Oh, you say on CBRO, right. I don't know if I've ever played on that one. I might have. I know I'd take down all the other servers before, see if any of them are good. All oh, those invocations, if I want an invocation to sign, which I probably do. The spousal, what else have we got? Summon Frost, Vile Clutch, Agony. I could get Vile Clutch. Hey, look at that. A Book of Annihilations. You know what? I'm going to grab that one, I think. Start a summoning visor to charge and uh plasma beam. Uh oh, the Arizona one lags for you, right? Arizona one, I that's uh, uh, uh what's it called? A crazy echo something. Got crystal spear, I don't need silence, but I think I just need the annihilations here. I think that's a uh, don't don't describe it, give it to me. Give me the annihilation. I gotta get chatter. Where is it? 80% cast decay. How many spell levels do I need? I need four. Get rid of the armor and the refrigerator because I got enough um scrolls that I need to do rid of that. I could get rid of the ice beast actually. Got plenty of lower level spells I can get rid of if I want to get some of these. Higher level spells going. Um, I guess I'll do the shape shifting first and then I'll get the shattering going, but I kind of want to shatter things. It sounds fun. I oh, got a new uh, work gig keeping you busy there. Right, sir. <laughs> hey, at least that's uh, something to do for work, I guess. Uh, do I want to do the Hall of Blades? And why is it not Explorer? Oh, Roxanne. That's fine. Let's take the... Take the way through the wall. Oh, it says I can't... Oh, it says I gotta put on my ninth level fly spell. <laughs> if I want to take the way through the wall. <laughs> that seems so silly, but I guess it works. Whatever works, right? Oh, Oswald there with a, another gifted sub to say no one ever gets subs today. Well, thanks again for the subs there, Oswald. Working for a healthcare management company. What do healthcare management companies do? Is it like... I don't know what a healthcare management company would do. Oh. Wait, does your computer network? What does that even mean? I don't think I can dig in here. I'll give it a try, but I'm pretty sure I can't. Yep. The whole of place does in fact have holes around, uh, walls around it, not holes around it, which is meant to, but sometimes I think it's missing one. In fact, if it is missing one, then I could actually sneak in, couldn't I? Help people find the healthcare they need after an accident. Right. Interesting. So... Huh. I don't know, I feel like this is probably something that would make more sense if it's something that I uh, needed or something. I feel like it's just something I haven't had experience with. Oh, hey, Nicola. Yeah, this is one of the ones that is missing a wall, so I could have gotten here without opening the door. Um, should have I used that sort of stuff? In American healthcare is different. Yeah, they are kind of different to a lot of places. Um, 
<laughs> kind of do their own thing. Oh, whoops! Don't want to do that. Yeah, I could have. I could have gone. I could have gone through the small here. It's the one, the diggable one. Is there more than one diggable entrance to the Hall of Blades? Because it seems to come up like reason to be often. They operate on uh, insurance payouts, right? Yeah, I've heard some weird things about like the way the medical insurance works. Like I've heard sometimes they just set like ridiculous prices and then. The insurance company doesn't pay it, but then neither does the pastor. They just do it because of the way taxes work or something. I don't really understand how that works, but I've heard that that is a thing that sometimes happens. Where the bill is like really high and then it just kind of, no one ends up paying it. Sometimes. Right, but it looks like I'm done with this place. Uh, I don't think here I want it. I don't think so. No, there's more books, but I've looked through those ones in this manual of invocations. Oh, the government ends up playing, paying with Medicare most of the time, right? Because all the tax dollars for the people that work, yep. I mean, that's kind of, like, how everyone else does it, except you don't have to, like, worry about whether you're covered or not by the thing you just are. Um. <laughs> Wait, did I destroy a scroll there by covering it in lava? I might have. Oh, well, it was already a teleport. It wasn't something I needed. I was wondering what happens when I put lava over items. So let me actually go test that with some lava over these items. Uh, wait, did they just get shoved to the side, or? I don't know. I need to test this more with some lava over items. Oh, it did just shove them to the side, but if it can't shove them to the side, does it just destroy them? Maybe. I kind of presumed it did the same thing it did with walls, um, where it just disappears and then... comes back, but I guess not. There been any new updates? Uh, there's been a necromancy update that I haven't tried yet. Um, I keep on seeing some new necromancy spells. What else has there been? I keep on forgetting that I have, like, other spells. <laughs> what else has there been? I'm sure there's been some other, some, something else that I can't think of. Oh, you just see the new necromancy spells, Oswald? Yeah, I really should give them a try, but I hate the necromancy start. Maybe it's better now. I think some of them are starting spells. I don't know. It's probably my... It's got to be contended for my least favorite start. Um, it might not be my least played start. But it's definitely up there with my least played starts. Whoa, what's that? Stuff of air that's got 9 magic points of flight on it. No, 12 magic points. It's got a lot of magic points. But unfortunately, I've got like a Stuff of Cold, which is probably a better thing for this character. Also, Polyphonic's going to do nothing in here, isn't it? Ah, that's fine. I'll just bring, go, bring these guys back to the staircase. Um, plus 12. Didn't know it came with that flavor. Yeah, it comes from plus 4 to plus 12. It used to always be plus nine, but it got uh, changed up a bit. Weirdly, I think the change would also plays, uh, applies to the Coglin, um weapons. Oh, no, not weapons, gizmos. It doesn't seem quite right. I feel like it... Uh, I guess it's alright. But those are usually very not random things. I shouldn't just run up. That would be a terrible plan. As much as it would be tempting just to run up and pull the vortex, I don't think I should. That was not the right way to take there. That's fine. Should try to get out of here pretty soon, but I'll just do one more cold spell, because that's all I got the magic for. 
Wait, plus eight orange crystal plate? Did that dude have orange crystal plate? If one of these guys have orange crystal plate, that would be amazing. I need to do it with orange crystal plate because I could actually wear that with this character. Oh, let's bring this guy back and pull a vortex that I'll get rid of it because it ignores the slight car for its resistance anyway. No orange crystal plate yet, but I'd love to find some. A plus nine ball is already a huge buff if you find early. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same now except random. I don't know why they made it random. Seems a little strange. Because the trend was kind of to make those things less random before. Like the... um, I guess it already appears on artifacts, which are already random. But things like the rings of decks and stuff became less random. Nothing good here. It's just like flight and stuff. Uh, back up. I know this guy's hastened, so it's going to catch up. Yeah, nothing good. It's just a ring of flight. Morning stuff, resist electric. No, I'm not seeing anything good just yet. But the other ones, there's plenty of time for it to have to loot. That's a lot of guys. Um, I'll move back. It also kind of vaguely allows me to pull it back out here somewhere I can actually pull the vortex and back up because the corridor is basically worst uh, sort of terrain for this character because I can't bring in my polar vortex. I guess I should actually be doing my cannon though, shouldn't I? Because I don't think these elves can walk over lava, so they're just kind of stuck there. What does that dude's weapon? I'll have to check that out soon. See if there's uh, any, got any sort of ice to it or something. Got air coal resist. Oh. I mean, it's better than this, but I'm, I'm more looking for, like, a stop of ice, I think. I don't know, maybe when I get Shadow going, I can go with a different kind of stuff, but air isn't quite what I'm after. Why am I so high level? Uh, because I did depths first, because I lacked willpower, so I just decided to do depths first. Yeah. So I kind of doing it really late. Just making everything really easy. Oh, it's Manifold Assault. Huh? Fulsome Fuselage. I haven't used that one before. Can I use it with this character? Uh, I don't have the Conjuration Alchemy to make it castable right now. I might still try and get it going later on, though. Longblades. Got uh, Mephitic Cloud Silence. There it is. Grave Claw. That's a new spell I haven't used at all. I wonder what it does. I don't, don't learn it. It's only a second level spell. Okay, that must be a new starter spell. I just want to describe it. Calls forth the spite of the recently dead to skewer a targeted enemy with shards of bone. The spell never misses and will pin its target in place for several turns. But casting it rapidly consumes the remnants of death that linger upon the caster. You could stockpile enough malice to cast the spell at most three times. And this could only be replenished by causing the death of a sufficient number of living beings. Sure. I mean, I presume that's one of the starter spells because it's second level, right? Right, Elven Hall is done. Um, I got to Do I put my hand to slime? I think I do. I might get malmutated or something, but oh well. I do have to resist corrosion, right? Yeah, I do. I take the thing down with the polar vortex should work reasonably well in here. At least that's the plan anyway. That's not very tough. Where's the actual... Wait, there aren't... I thought there'd be like actual tough things behind those. I thought that would just be like a fake lot of guards. Cause that's one of the weakest ambushes I've had in here. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, how's that? Uh, oh, I'm six shot on the shape shifting, so I'd lose like 60% of my max health. That's not gonna work. Just thinking I could put on a death talisman to stop these guys while mutating me, but no, it's gonna have to wait a bit. I don't know if I've ever used Polar Vortex versus the Royal Jelly before, but it sounds like it should be an effective spell. Guess there's only one way to find out. Give it a try, see if it does anything. Oh, I don't recognize the layout just yet, although with Ash and Zari, it might be a little bit easier to recognize the layout. Is this just the one with like three corners, each with a separate staircase? Uh, it does look like it might be actually. Might just try to do it every single corner on this one first before I find the royal jelly. So I should probably go up while I've. Oh, probably don't last very long. Never mind. Don't think I need to go up in that case. I can't use anything like a Hellfire Mortar to get through these walls, can I? Because these wouldn't be diggable. Just like, I'm gonna lose my jab, but that's fine. Yeah, jabs well, it's really gonna disappear. What's that thing? Was that the. Oh, there was some sort of tough creature there. Oh. I need a polar vortex if these guys want me to. Because they all like summed up stuff. Oh, there's the royal jelly. Okay, what's the plan? What have we got? What's useful? I've already got two haste. That's not a lot. Two brilliance. That's not a lot of that either. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with the polar vortex. But what else is useful here? Oh, the refrigerate might be useful. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot left after that. All right, well, we've got a rune. What else have we got? We've got plus zero ring mail. My arm is still nothing special. Um, I didn't find any gold dragons or any orange crystal plate or anything. At least I don't think I found some orange crystal plate. I'll just double check. Barely a scratch. Yeah, no, that was probably one of the easier fights I've had there. But I didn't need to use any buffs either. Oh, there's, there's a death talisman in here. Willpower, how much? I'm still short of willpower, but... Got the hand of intelligence and resist electric, and I think I use my resist electric on it now anyway. Uh, what could poison resist? Well, I wasn't even getting my poison resist off. I can't remember anymore. It changed around recently. I know that. And ring, right. I see. Because then I have multiple sorts of resist corrosion. I did. So, like, in theory. I could swap that around if I want to swap the ring, which the ring is fire resist, strength minus stakes, poison resist, which I don't really want to swap that. Um, I won't carry out quite as much intelligence. Oh, that's Skull Crusher, it sure is. No, not the most useful when you can't wield it. I've got a Translocation Necromancy Alchemy Staff. I don't use many of those schools, unfortunately. Maybe this one has a good armor for me. It has all grip stuff or boots of poisonous regen corpses, but minus five slay. This boots might actually work. My boots are, oh, plus zero boots of self and devices. Yeah, I don't I don't really attack anyway, so might as well get these boots going. They're pretty good. 
Let's blow up these boots I'm wearing, which brings me slightly worse for the shape shifting, but whatever. I'm done with here. I can get out of here. Let's go to... Oh, vulnerable to cold. I mean, sure. It's just that I was almost out of here anyway. Like, I was literally on my way out when I took the mutation, but oh well. Um, I will go to Vault's 5, I think. I think I can do that one. Do I teleport? I don't think I do initially. Right, store should I see? Um a little bit of refrigerate. It's petrifying me. Oh, I'll drink the cancellation, but I might just go back up. I don't think I had time just to go back up. I don't have any willpower yet, it's kind of unfortunate. Um Probably don't need the reflection, although it is kind of protective. Do I just go back down the staircase or do I try and teleport? I might just go back down. Do I have the most good defenses for stair dancing or anything, though? Half of these can't even be refrigerated. Okay, that's better. I can refrigerate again. Uh, Dreadlich. What do I have apart from like hitting it with the ice? I've got. I mean, I can radiate it if it gets close. Shadow's still a 90% failure, so I can't quite do that one. Ah. I for refrigerate. There we go. Yeah, I think this is actually working really well. Just uh, stair dancing this because they're not building up around my staircases, which you can I know can definitely be a problem with some characters. Oh, I should go up, actually. I don't want to run myself too low on magic, because then one well, of the guys will come along and seal the staircase, and then I'll be in trouble. Or have to use the magic potion or something. Uh, I'll try freeze the armory. No, not quite. What does summon all those dudes? Oh, the brain, right, I see. Makes sense, so they'll die really quick, so. Do you know the words is uh, electric? I was trying to say that, so I'm not going to get too electric. Oh, no, it's an airstrike, actually, on the side of Hulk would be the worst one with them out in the open. I mean, it does also have the lightning bolt, but the, yeah, the airstrike's definitely a problem you're out in the open. What else have we got here? That shield could be good. It's a tower shield protection. I got a reflection, a little um, shield off. Although, I'm still forced to probably live on the polar vortex, so maybe not. I mean, probably eventually, but not like in a hurry. And this shield's oh, it's plus two. I don't know, it's not that special. It's not really an upgrade. Right, there we go. Four runes down, but it's still got plenty more to go. This is not going to pull the vortex very well, is it? Oh, I like vaguely pull the vortexes. Oh, good, a gold dragon. Um, I do want to see one of those, but... I want to run a magic points or something. What else have I got that's useful here? I can freeze these guys. Maybe you should have stayed a bit close to the center. What do I have? I've got the, I've got the warping. Maybe take this guy out with.
Oh. <sighs> I think I drink brilliance. Fortunately, it doesn't work so well when you're so low on magic points, but I think it's probably the right thing to do. Okay, good. It's down to these two guys, although something else might come along. It probably my bust. Uh, vaguely my bust guy. Also, I can see some gold dragon arm on the ground. I'm just hoping I can get that one usable. Uh... Can it radiate someone because it got the brilliance on? But I might try to refrigerate them. I'm actually just... I know it's not what I usually do, but I'm actually just trying to head back to the central area this time round. Because I feel like sticking around the staircase so we can stand on is actually a good idea this time. Also, I want to try this armor, but uh, then I'd have to break my current armor, which is also nothing special. Can I... I don't, can't even cast it, I think, but I guess I'll try. Hopefully, I can still cast spells. I got 27 armor class. We'll see how this goes. Uh, can I still cast is the real question. 8% failure on uh, Polar Vortex. It's a building up a little bit, but it's still castable, which is fine. All right, well, I can enchant this armor, I think. I can also enchant my hat. My... Boots, okay. Now nah, I might just enchant my body armor. But there's definitely plenty more things to enchant. Alright, uh, it's better armor class than before. Let's try going down. Also looks kind of fancy dressed up like this. Um, <laughs> wearing a full suit of gold, basically. Although I don't think my shield's gold. I need a better shield. That's my inventory. I've got plenty of space. So I might as well just grab this shield that's on the ground here. But it's going to have to wait. It's given that I'm back up to 9% failure. So what do I actually need? I need the armor skill. I mean, I can wait till I finish with the shape-shifting. I don't know, because like, I... I guess I could get more spell casting as well, but there's not a lot more things for this character to get. Oh, that must be an escape hatch. It doesn't really matter when I've already uh, done the level above. Care about these good old great mesas. I mean, I'm only using a staff of cold at the moment, but uh... what can I do? I guess I'll just dump. I don't think the the. Power for us rupture does, can't miss, so might as well dump it on that guy that's been annoying with this whole repel missiles thing. Let's get a serious magic dart, so nothing good, in other words. I don't think I can dodge that, though, unfortunately. <laughs> it walked into it, straight into it, basically. Oh, what? I want a ball of onyx. There we go. I think I just missed, guys. This is still on 8% it's on, yeah. Something else on 7%? What am I going to quit with the Hellfire mods on 7%? Because I haven't been working on the magic towards getting that one going for a long time. Range magic companions. I do want to get a curse, but not that one. Yeah, because if I get a curse, my fighting goes up, but... Oh, my ice magic is apparently still good despite my lack of curses.
Right, what could get? Oh, Kyurig. I think the, the Enlightenment's still useful. Visibility is still useful. Magic's definitely useful. And I don't think the other things are useful. Yeah, I mean, I, I've used like one Curing Potion or something. Scythe, the curse of that's two handed, right? It's a Scythe. Uh, it's a Paul Arms, yep. Um, didn't actually say it was a Scythe there. I mean, I guess it did. Oh, that. oh, I don't want to do a spirit guardian now. The one that's got rampage is very good. There's a three and three strength ring. That's oh, the basic stuff. No, this stuff's pretty useless. Brilliance is good because I just used up one of those, unfortunately, but at least I get it back. Excellent. Well, I'm done here and I don't think there's anything on the ground because I saw the stuff as I was going through. Yeah, it's all stuff I've looked at. Uh, do I just have the Zod? I guess I do. Because I, yeah, I might as well. I got four runes. Let's free some of these guys. Nah. My magic eaten. I mean, that would have been a thing for some characters. That would have been a fairly nasty ambush, but I have the got all the death sort of AOE stuff, like the fall of vortex to get going. Uh -huh. Am I still risking the resist negative? I think so, yeah. Still risking resist negative willpower, which is... Kind of what I've had this entire game is the missing resist, but that should be fine. Uh... What do I do against this guy? I might just freeze him, but I don't think it does so much against this guy. It slows the other guys down at least. Um... Need to go up soon. I was just doing some decent damage to this guy, so I didn't want to leave just there with my polar vortex going. Uh. I love how vain that the refrigeration is against those moths because I was killing them before with it. Oh, sorcerer companions? Um, I do use that to some extent. It's not so much the companions, but it'll do. I'll put on my boots. Hey, Ruga, how's it going? I don't need a fire in this ring, I don't think. I've got quite a bit of jewelry on this character, but I don't really. Swap my jewelry very much as a character that's worshipping Ash and Zari. That kind of is a real downside to Ash and Zari, but it's not too bad. Uh, I mean, it depends what gear you find. Sometimes you just don't really need to swap much because you've got a good set anyway. It's going well. That's excellent. Oh, and I'm going well as well, so... I was like, everything's going well. I might just, uh, actually, I might back. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pull the vortex, these guys. Didn't have a lot of magic points, so I was thinking of backing up, but I mean, pull the vortex works as well. Introspection. Um, introspection is like fighting and spellcasting, which are both useful. Melee combat is not something this character does. In fact, it got like, that's the curse though. I got like minus five slag and stuff. Um, did I just stab back about here? Oh, I didn't bring my death towers with me? I should totally have that one on me. Because I'm about to get it uh, going. But I keep putting a random L in death. That doesn't even make sense. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I might actually activate it. I'm missing like 10% health, just more, slightly more. But this is going to help me out killing this cursed toe.
But I might leave it on. It's pretty close to where I need it to be. Uh... Now I actually need that cloak and poison for this and carry around anymore. If I might not have picked that up. I probably didn't have the inventory room and I tried picking it up earlier, but that was the thing I think you may be swapping because I don't really lose anything if I swap off my current cloak, but I don't think I gained anything from doing that. Also, I've finally got a little bit of willpower. Look at that, I'm on three willpower. Yeah, that's definitely an advantage to be a lich form. The disadvantage is I can't drink my potions anymore, but I don't have a lot of potions. I've already got like two haste and stuff. Um, oh, no, but finally got some resist negative as well. So it actually topped out the resist that I was missing the most. What was that? A teleport trap? Okay. Thanks to Ash and Zari, I don't have to be afraid of teleport traps. Fortitude and Beguiling. Uh, Fortitude is alright. It's like armor skill, shield skill. Beguiling is like cakes or something. Translocations. That's good enough curse, I think. Oh, I don't want to describe my curse. I want to put the curse on my armor. There we go. I can still jar the armor up, being a dwarf and all, so. Oops. I'm trying to do something wrong there. They get tried to do a radio, they get a distance, which doesn't matter because it's not going to do anything. Oh, what can I do now? Trying to find something to carry me over until I can get my polar vortex going again. Alright, good. The shapeshifting's where I need it, although I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that because if I change my curses around, it might drop underneath where it's meant to be. Ice magic's still good. Uh, fighting's still pretty good. Shields could do with a little bit more. Um, spell casting maybe just a tiny bit. I'll just need it out with 18. What's not 28? <laughs> And what was there? Something else we wanted to get. It was like Earth Magic, I think, after that. Um, it's the thing to get. And try and get the Shatter going. But that's on 96% failure. Yes, yeah, so let's go and find it. Go to the moth so they can send these guys berserk. Just wanted to, didn't want a berserk tentacle monstrosity next to me, which was one of the things that could have happened in that sort of situation. Uh, guess I'll refrigerate. It's just these guys are how resistant to cold? Only one perfect K. Okay. Sure. Right, it gets to do damnation. I mean, there's not much I can do to stop that. Huh. Is there a way back to my staircase? Not really, because these guys are coming from that direction. Um. Remarkable. Oh, I have found digging. Oh, it's going to take a number of digging, but. I might just do a bit of polar vortex first. Yeah, okay, that worked a little bit better. <laughs> Don't need to do any digging after all. I can just wander back to the staircase. What was this, Gus? And noticing it, 6%. Yes, yeah, but that's the reason I'm trading a bit of shields before I get into getting the shattering going, is just because... It's kind of annoying miscasting that much. Also, I'm marked right now. How did I get marked? How did I get marked there? Oh, dude's sort of a trap. Okay, because I know it couldn't have been like an explore trap because Ashton Zari protects me from those. I didn't see an enemy that was like targeting my willpower or nothing. Um... 
Yeah, but there was a little uh, dude just standing in a trap makes a lot of sense. Bring this dude upstairs. Um, it doesn't really matter why he hit it with. It's gonna die. Once they get it upstairs. I actually feel like decently protected, even if my shield's not the best one yet. Because I do need to, actually, I do need to get a better shield, don't I? Oh, I actually cursed everything back up, so. Now would be not the worst time in the world to change. It's just I might not be able to cast my spells very well if I did change right now. Huh? Should I not? Oh, I think I miscast again. Yeah, so I probably shouldn't swap to a heavier shield until I get a bit more shield skill. But once you get a lot of shield skill, it doesn't really matter how heavy your shield is because it doesn't have any penalty at level 27. And if it goes to level 27, it's not going to have much penalty, no matter whether it's a tower shield or not. How do these guys get out of here? Because I know they can because they're stopping auto pickup and stuff. Which they wouldn't do if they could get out of there. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, oh, that's going to be a bit low of magic. Do I condense the fame? But I'm not sure that's the most helpful. Maybe I should have done that one. Uh, Berserking up. Try to get to the staircase, but it's not quite working. Okay, this guy probably won't stop me, although I just lost my polar vortex, so I gotta do something to it. Gotta do a quicksilver. There we go. Excellent. Uh, let's pull this guy around the corner and just... Oh no, this starts petrifying me. There's not much I can do about it, is there, in this form. But they don't have the yards yet. I should see if I've got the yards in my spellbook. Because I might be able to get that one castable. Um... I thought I saw a book with yards in it, but apparently I did not with this character. And I think Yards is alchemy hexes. I've got alchemy, so I'd probably be able to get it castable without too much problems. Oh, what have we got? But I think all these things we've got to try to throw the noise I was making, which is fair enough. and make a whole pole of vortex walls of noise, which I think is quite a bit. Yeah, it's nowhere near as loud as Shadow, but I mean, nothing really is, right? Excellent, that's level four. Three done. I've got two more levels, and then I was thinking about definitely very heavily thinking about going into extended with this character. Because it sounds like a fun thing to do. I've got the death talisman going. I've got. I don't have shadow going yet. I've got Paul Vortex going. That's pretty decent and extended. And some spells kind of fall off a bit and extend it, but no, this should still work. It's good. The pole vortex going, except it's struggling to find anywhere to play stuff. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to do. Hopefully, there's enough shields. Uh, is it actually enough shields? Bring it up a little bit more. I try to get myself a heavier shield. 
Yeah, because uh, as I put on a heavier shield, I'm going to get worse than 5% failure. But I'll give it a try anyway. So that means blowing up my current shield, wherever that one is. I lose devices. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, go straight back into the shape to get that one up to level 23 again. And I think my shields might have gone down a bit. But anyway, let's try it. Hopefully that didn't hurt too much. 8% failed to the politics. That's not too bad. My shields look a little bit better now as well. Also, that's level done, which means I get more red, so I'm back down to 7% failure. Like, yeah, it didn't really slow me down that much, changing my shield. Like, depending what sort of uh, curse I get, I might go back to the same sort of failure chance, although... Actually, I don't know this much in the way of curses that could help with my chance on casting the Polar Vortex. What's this dude? It's Plugs Ghost, just sitting there with, I mean, their melee one, a troll fighter of Okawaru. Got lost of AC. I don't know if they have much else going for them. Oh, were they a troll? I guess they were wearing gold dragon armor just like me if they have good AC, because trolls often don't have the best AC. Although, to be fair, at this point of the game, if you hadn't found Gold Dragon Army, you'd be uh, doing a bit badly. There's usually plenty of Gold Dragons going through Zot and Damps and even sometimes Bolts 5. Oh, hey, look at all these guys. All right, so let's pull some more of them back. Oh, they're going berserk as they do. Yeah, but you saw how many, like, moths of wrath are around there, right? These guys are going to be able to do quite a bit of going berserk. How do those guys get behind me? Oh, it doesn't matter. Feels silly dumping ice on this guy, the, the ice giant trying to get rid of it, but I don't know what else they can really use in that sort of range. And it's hard physical damage, so. Uh, Malian Elements, that's alright. Um. Sure. Yes, I put it on my shield. So it gets uh, shape shifting back up to where it needs to be. What else does it get to where it needs to be? Fighting is where it needs to be. Okay. I mean, it could go a little bit more. The shields is going to get a little bit more. It's going to get to 24. How's the earth? It's on 19, right? And I probably need that around uh, 27, I think, to get the shatter going. Oh, I'll just creep back, get my magic points and everything, but there really aren't a lot of guys left in here anymore. I've cleared them out pretty thoroughly. I think... Uh, Paul of Bondings is definitely the right spell to be clearing that one out with. Alright, one more level of Zod, and I might even try and clear it fully out. I don't think I'll worry about, like, this area too much. Yeah, because it's not like I'll get mal mutated. What have you got? We've got this side got a net trap. I might still take that side, and this side's got a Zod trap. Might take the side with a net trap and just use a, um, what's it called? A hellfire mortar to get through. Or I might be able to shatter, but I doubt that it's, oh, 80 something percent failure. Uh, I mean, that's a, definitely a solid maybe on that one. Because I won't get mal mutated, but I can still get my stats degenerated in this current form. Huh. 
Huh. Don't know, I'll think about it. And it might go down a bit more as they get more shield skill, but probably not a whole lot more. Alright, oh, 8 Blinky, I'm doing a lot better, I used to have not many of those as little, I was sitting on like, uh, 3 or 4 of them, but, hey. Doing pretty well now, which is good, because I can actually still use those while I'm in this form, unlike my potions, which I can have a bit of trouble using. Uh, shields is going up, okay. I think I do just get the earth. Um, still can't shadow the sky. Be, it's a legend of the perfect ones to shadow because they're made of bone and they just kind of die from it. But no, it's uh, eighty percent failure. I think seventy seven percent. Oh, do I try? I might give a couple of tries to break through here, but I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, it did. Huh? Sure. Oh, that works for me. I guess I'm going in here now. Hey, over fire. How do you like to... Oh, I'm getting my magic drained. Ah, can't go invisible either. That's actually a problem. Um, I'm going to try... Oh, my bus doesn't work on it. Maybe a Quicksilver. I quite kill that guy as quick as possible. I know the polybotics should work really well on this guy, but it doesn't work if I've got no magic points. Yeah, it's a good thing they're not like orbs of frost though. Those are probably have a bit more cold resist. Are orbs of fire are resistant to cold, right? They're just not whole. It's not like a mute tool or anything. Try with the fog. Ah, I didn't. Is this stuffing my polar vortex? I'm not sure it is. Do I have to blink? We'll see. Uh, oh, it's in front of me. Okay. So fine. Think, okay, they got me out of there. I'll see which one of these staircases makes sense. Probably that one that's the furthest away. Yeah, there was a lot of orbs of fire bearing down on me, though. Uh, about to die, isn't it? Maybe. It is degenerating my decks, which actually my decks are looking a little sad. Do I have any, I've got a minus decks ring, don't I? But it's also my fire this one, so... Maybe I could replace that one. But it's also strength, so it's actually not too bad. It just could be a bit of a problem in hell, but I think before hell, it's uh, a sense of one to go with. Did I think so. Because <laughs> it probably would have followed me upstairs if it hadn't have died. Uh, I don't really have a lot to do until this gets a little bit closer and I can pull the vortex it. And I might just try to get rid of his haste because I'm actually slow. No, I'm no longer slow, but I still want to get rid of his haste.
I think all these guys coming out because I got mic'd. They didn't all come out when I did the shatter or anything. Uh, let's see. I think that's all the guys are going to try to buy the mic. Yeah, going in here should be a little bit easier now because there's probably a lot less guys after that. At least I would certainly hope so because that was enough mobs to fire, I think. Also, I gotta remember not to pick up that um, orb of Zot because I do want to do other stuff beforehand. Despite my cool Cryomancer title, but I'm pretty sure I've already had the Cryomancer title before. So I don't think that's gonna be a unique one that I can go grab. Uh, just get a little bit closer to start the polar vortex. Oh, still a cooldown. Okay, <laughs> never mind. So how's that shatter going? Oh, look at that shatter! It's on twenty uh, forms of failure. Can almost like I can't quite, but I can almost incorporate that into my spells that I'm using here. Shatter things while I've got a pole of vortex going. It does we'll go through a lot of magic, but it sounds like it'll be pretty effective at killing things. Speaking of magic, I don't really have a way of bringing that back very effectively. I mean I've got the amulet of magic region, and that's about it. Anyway, it looks like I'm also done with here, so is it pandemonium next? I don't really think there's anyone else for me to go. What have we got? That's the fire resist one. Let's see. I could probably drop the regen. I've got my own cursed up anyway. It's not like you can swap them. Oh, this corrosion is completely useless. Oh, because it quived on me? Where did I get that one? Must be a little while back. Probably don't need the curing, right? It's not like you can get confused anyway. It's not like I can really drink it anyway. <laughs> anyway, what have we got? Manual rage weapons. Strength, why don't I need the poison resist? Hand cannon. Why is it trying to give me rage weapons? Oh, well. Guess I just take the money. I don't think there's really anything else to do there. Oh, so I got the manual of invocations. That would already be for a god title invocations one, but hey, I'll go buy it anyway, just in case I do actually want to do that. Back to Pandemonium. Well, first time, I guess, but back to the portal. Actually, let me just quickly check on Starves before I go in. Uh, Conjuration Air. It's basic ones here. So that's an Air Staff. Air Staff. All the good ones have been Air Staffs. I mean, that Magic Post one doesn't look too bad. If it was like an Earth one, I probably would have grabbed it. How many mutations anyway? Some extra stealth, a little bit of dex. Minus cold resist doesn't even matter, so I don't think those matter. Just I could reset them at any stage uh, if I wanted to. What are these guys? Well, these guys are like to give you minus cast and stuff. Oh, the pandemonium lord do do it to melee, dude, I think. Oh, it's definitely gonna rub me out of magic points. Um Oh no, that was a miscast, was it? Six magic points. What do I do with six magic points? Um, I just have that guy with another whopping seven magic points. I think there's even a rune there. Um,
All right, let's. At least my magic comes back quickly. That's nice. Let's go grab the rune, I guess. Yeah, my first pandemonium rune, my demonic rune. That was a little bit stressful running out of magic points, but otherwise, all right. I can't, like, channel magic or anything. Are you shattering a monster 10 tiles away? Stay to sleep? Or through walls, but still, wow, how's that? I mean, that must be a pretty deep sleep to sleep through someone shattering. I wonder how the calculations work for that. Um, I was noise pressed from a cloak, right? But I guess that would cloak would help a lot, but still. I was really quite pointless. I mean, it's half uh, noise, right? I was going to summon demon, okay. Got evasion, which probably wouldn't help it. Does it does it fly? Yeah, of course it does. Doesn't help with the polar vortex though. I like the polar vortex held magic efficiency because I definitely need that in here, otherwise I'd be in a big trouble. Go to the next region. I don't think that had nothing else. It's this middle. So radiated? I guess. I gotta finish off quickly because it's got the spell of dead. What's my failure here? Five to the um all the vortex? Okay, let's see. Uh, actually, I do have regen on this carriage, don't I? I'm pretty sure I got it from somewhere. I must do, because I got 1.4 a turn. Right, it felt like it. It felt like it was regening, but I didn't... I thought I didn't have it, but no, it's on my boots or something, I think. That's a well worth having in here. Ooh, charge armor, that's well worth it. Oh, three of them even? Wow, okay. I can burn for those all of my armor. Yeah, I think that made it plus 12, right? Yeah, plus 12 god dragon armor. That's what I like to see. This character's well armed, even if they have no evasion. Because I think I got a decent amount of the armor skill. Oh, maybe not as much as I used to have. I think it went down a little bit, but that's probably fine. Um, Let's bring it back up to 20, I think. That's the thing about Ashen Zari. My skills are all over the place doing their own thing. Oh my god, there's a traction potion, but I don't think there was a rune on this level. That's just a random pandemonium lord with a crystal spear and haste. Ooh. Kind of kitted out, actually. What else did I have? Does fly. Ah. Of course it does. Um, Slow it back down, but it'll probably just haste back up. Yeah, it did. Still, when I'm trying to, like, wait for my, uh, Paul of Onyx to spin back up. What's that ruin do again? I can't even remember. Let me check. So, uh, any melee attacks which damage you heavily drain and randomly slow, weaken, or blind you. Right. Slow's not that great. Um, weakens fine. I don't know about blind. Oh, spelling a dead on me, isn't it? I'll try and shatter it, but it's a bit noisy. And some runes only last for a while. At least not much is hitting me in melee, so it's not really getting to trigger that much. Shout out that dude. I know those ones are quite resistant to a lot of things, but they don't fly. Oh, I just want to irradiate that guy. There we go. Really, this is still like somewhat useful. When I know I'm going to find a tough pandemonium lord, I can put it on beforehand. Oh. Wait, oh, there was a way out? Okay, sure. I'll take a way out, but I'll probably just head straight back in. 
guess I'll draw the flight. It would be nice to get some flight later on, but I guess I can just live with my polar vortex flight for now. What else do we have? Probably even drop that cancellation if I wanted. Uh, stress is not bad. These help with spellcasting, I think, maybe. To some extent, it's getting the strength on there. I could still mess with them. I think I'll wait a bit on messing with my mutations. Oh, there's uh, the gate? Kind of gate. Oh, wait to the abyss. Right, that makes sense. Oh, hey there. Um, got the dark root. Glorix block. They do fly, right? Yeah, they do. Um, I think I start a teleport, but I'm gonna have to put some buffs on before I fight them. Oh, they're back. Yeah, it doesn't take me very far. I'm still marked and slowed. Ah, uh, I gotta do another teleport eventually. Uh, I should get somewhere where I can... <laughs> I'll teleport trap, sure. Hopefully. Pass the time. Oh, I'm blind, aren't I? I think that's what that means. It's no longer marked, right. Not drain or something? No, I've got Forbes in fear on this. I just check in because I had to miscast it a couple of times. And I do want to make sure I'm not like strength drained or something because they can absolutely destroy your spellcasting chance in heavy armor. Although, because I'm a mounted dwarf, it's more like medium armor than I'm wearing right now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot more closer to that. With the uh, mutation that for terms of my spellcasting, this one, the spellcasting is less encumbered by armor. Kind of running around with endless polar vortices, trying to make my way through these enemies. I'm kind of slowly making my way through. Oh, that one needs to be brought out to the open. Where I can actually hit it. I should grab the teleport. I don't think I'm short of those. I think I got a decent chunk. But I'm using them, so it does make sense to get some more. Also, I can detect, uh, what's his name? Glorix Block running around in there. Did I ever get an importation so I can just steal his rune? I'm not sure I did. Um, was it in a book that I could have got? Nah. Uh-huh. But he's got doors there, so he might not notice. Oh, he did notice. Maybe. He was in view for a while, but I don't think he noticed that I stole his rune, so I might as well just keep it going. I mean, it does mean I'll meet him on later levels, but whatever. I've got his rune. Let's keep him moving. Someone there. I don't know what. I might just head the other way. Uh. Oh, it's Ignatio. I might tell Yeah, he did take place. Swap place with the other guy. Oh, come on, teleport. Okay. Um, he does a lot of damage, but he doesn't fly, so I can shatter him. That didn't actually work at all. Um, that didn't even get rid of more than half his health. Might mirror him up. Oh, well, Paul Vonix, I guess not. I tried to teleport out, but he's going to do quite a bit of damage to me before I get out of here. Uh, I can try warping him, but he'll be straight back up to me, won't he? 
Polybotics is taking him out slowly. He's almost dead, but I don't actually know if I can finish him off. Oh, he died. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm not going to have to deal with him again then. I hope this willpower stripping doesn't matter. It probably more depends on uh, what this guy does. Although my willpower came back. It tramples. It's got evasion. It doesn't fly. Oh, that doesn't do the most. Um, I just go to the next level. Was this a special level? I don't think so, unfortunately. I thought with all those fiery guys around, maybe it was a fiery level, but by the looks of it, probably not. Um, cloak of Stealth is like vaguely better than what I've got. I just got a plus two cloak. I was technically going to resist, but it's something I already have. I think it's like acid resist. I don't know. It might be worth just keeping the one I've currently got because I don't think Stealth would... Nah, Stealth would actually get through my armors minus Stealth anyway. Got false lots of destruction, I see. Kind of want to be close to them, but I also want to be out in the open. Uh, could, no, I can't really shadow them, can I? Okay, good. My earth is where I need it to be. So I'm getting... What do I get? Um, what's actually reasonably cheap? I could get a little bit more shields. That helps with my casting just a little bit. Actually, I might get a lot more shields. Yeah. Are there any other spells I want to get? I got a bit of fire, so I could get an ignition. That's good in some of the hells. Can't quite get it without a bit more fire skill. Um... Still a cryo man, so I gotta check that I haven't had that title already. Uh, cryo man, so. Huh. I could go for the cryo man, the title, maybe. It'd be. I mean, I might, like, accidentally stuff it up because I don't even know how much skill that would require or anything. And it's based on the base skill, so it's actually really be easy to stuff up your titles with Ash and Zari. Oh, hey, Glorix. Um, go to the next level, but he's going to not follow me. Right, he can't follow through those portals. Fair enough. Hey, fiery level. Okay, so that's uh, like in Polar Vortex in here, but I need one more fire in this, right? Which I could probably use a potion for? Like potion of resistance before going to the boss fight? How do I go with other potions? I might be able to do some other buffs, like some haste or something. I've got four haste. I've got a bit of brilliance. I mean, I guess that's all things that could be helpful in this fight. I don't want the way out just yet. I've got to find the boss. And thankfully, my spells are actually effective in here. Oh, this looks like the boss. Uh, I might not even have to fight the boss, but I probably should. There we go. Oh, I think I saw the boss in there. So, if I was this boss, where would I hide my rune? I might go look at the treasure in here, see what it is. Because I might just be able to steal the rune, but I think I should probably find the boss so they don't follow me around. I've already got one guy following me around. The Tauchi of Poison Resist? Sure. Where should I want to get a shatter? I don't actually technically know which side has the boss, do I? Because I saw something tough, but it might not necessarily be the boss they detected. Um... I 
because I want to figure that one out before I go. I think it might be this side. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> well, like, I technically don't have to find the boss. I just found the rune. Um. I mean, as long as the game is going to give me the rune, I don't have to, right? Sure. Oh, there's a portation. That could be handy. As far as stealing even more runes. I think it's going to be this character thing. It's just stealing everything. Uh, is that good? It's, uh, don't need to resist negative. It's flight. No, it's not that good. I really need, oh, what is that? Like, willpower or something? I can probably live without it. Um... I'll take okay, go plus one shield of protection. Isn't that better than my one? My one is a plus zero shield of protection with melee and elements on it. Um, it's only plus one better, but it could be worth doing the swap. I'd have to lose a curse. I don't know if that's worthwhile or not. Anyway, I guess I'll go to the next level, see what we've got on this one. Vision of a gate? Sure. I mean, that would be helpful when I want to actually do want to leave Pandemonium, uh, not Pandemonium, leave uh, the Abyss, because I can see all the gateways to Pandemonium to get out. Okay, there's a glowing rune on this level. This level can be nasty. Yeah, because it makes you fragile all the time. What else does it do to you? And then there's all these summoners, uh, which actually get taken out pretty well by the polar vortex, thankfully. My decks. A little bit down. Another summoner. Um... Oh, the ghost moss, come on. Really? Um. Uh, what do I do here? I mean, I'm gonna shatter, but. Yeah, left that one. Ghost moss alive. It's probably fine. Yeah, maybe not. Um, we're gonna just get rid of these guys, which means that other summoner's gonna get a chance to do something. Most of these are real, right? The ones that remain now. Kind of got to try and distinguish between the real ones and the not real ones. It's sometimes a little bit hard. All right. That's fine. There we go. Yep. That's because of a little fake part from one of them. I'm just going to do... I think I'm gonna do a decent amount of this level and then um go do the boss afterwards because there's a good chance I'm gonna have to teleport out. Oh, uh we might pull the vortex back. There we go. Pull the vortex is quite good when you've got a lot of armor class because you can kind of get into melee with it. Um <laughs> Come on, there we go. I was refusing to cast the polar vortex because I couldn't technically see a creature. What is that guy? Hopefully just another shadow demon, which I seem to be able to deal with just fine. Do 
Did I shatter around here? I don't think I did, right? Oh, hey, the, uh, the Nolik doesn't fly, but I might bring the back out into the open. Got to get that polar vortex back. There we go. Oh, miscast. Good thing about fighting a summoner is that I do have AoE damage at least. Did they die? They must have died. I think I missed the message of them dying and all the other messages. Oh. Great, my magic points. Uh, shields. Okay, shields is good. So what do I need? Fighting, I might as well just buff fighting up that last level. Shapeshifting's good where it is. Um, any more spells that I want to try and pick up? Oh yeah, maybe actually. I'll try get the fire up to 20 and get the ignition going. And I might bring the spell casting up to like 22 or something. Could check out all the ninth level spells, but I don't know if they're quite right for the scare. The scare's main thing is going to be fairly efficient with the magic points, which I think I am. And I've got Shatter and Polar Vortex is usually a pretty good team together. Alright, there we go. That's my eighth rune. I've got one more rune if I got it. I got the mystical... No, magical? Mystical? What does it say? It's magical. The one guarded by Lob. Which I don't think Polar Vortex is so good against Loblo Bond. Uh, and oh well. Ooh, down to five decks. I don't even have like some levels up to improve that or something. I might have to swap one of my rings around at some stage. I don't know. Hopefully I can find a nice ring that gives some fire resist or something so I can swap that round. Anyway, next level it is, I think. Oh, hey Serebov. Might just start a tally. Oh. And now I've just got to... I don't think this is a level that's good, so it's got to get off here. And uh, this looks like a way off, so I'm good to go. Let's uh, wait till my Vortex comes back and think, yeah. Oh, Cerebob again? He's absolutely after his rune back. Yeah, well, it's fine. Oh, it's not doing as much as I like. Um, kill some of the stuff, but yeah, there's still this guy around. I think I just wanted warping that one there. It's still alive, isn't it? It's around the corner. Yup. Might do another one of warping again, so see if I can do some more damage. Gotta die eventually. <laughs> Can't have infinite health. Um, there we go. I think it's dead now. Oh, Cerebob again. I really don't have any magic poison or anything right now. Okay. Well, it's the way off, but like, I wouldn't buy my magic points back before I took that one. Because going to a new level without any magic points or something is always a bit sketchy. Oh, I guess I might anyway. Staying on that level is just as sketchy. Oh, 
not that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pull up one thing. So sure, it's like it blows the demon and super resistant to cold, but it's still gonna die to a pull of all things. I don't think this level had a rune in it. I'm getting to see with these levels with no runes on them. But I've had a pretty good run of it in terms of not getting too many of those levels. Yeah, because there was a run there where I just kept on getting a bunch of runes. Can that little soul eater actually do anything to me, or does the immunity to negative take me from it? I feel like the immunity to negative might take me from it. I don't really matter. They don't do a huge amount of damage to start with. I just feel like it might not be able to do anything. Maybe a little bit of melee, but like... Yeah, I don't think it's doing a lot. This guy got it. Did a bolt of something at me. A bolt of cold. And it's got a sentinel's mark, which you can't stop. 30%. Oh, did it fly? Yeah, it did. Sometimes it feels like the majority of these pandemonium lords fly. Maybe they do. Hard to really know for sure what the chance is without like looking it up or I, mean, I guess you could run an experiment, but you'd have to go through a lot of pandemonium laws to really figure it out. No, I feel like the best way would definitely be to look it up in the code, see what their actual chances if you wanted to know. Alright, anyway, next level is Hey Magical Rune, that's what I want to see. What am I gonna do against this guy though? Because they do fly. Um usually you want to firestorm this one. I mean I could just steal their rune. It's what I've done with all the other ones, basically. And I do have, like, the application of Shadow, so yeah, I really, really reckon I should. Oh, I need a little bit more time to charge up again. But I feel like a mountain drop ice elemental is not all the bad start because you can wear slightly heavier armor than normal, which is great because a lot of the ice elemental stuff kind of requires you to be fairly close, um, which has made my previous problem with ice mages. So just be able to wear heavier armor and go and, um, <laughs> into combat with that is really nice. That my. Am I rude? <laughs> Start a ball of onyx just to go check on what this is. No, oh, didn't quite kill these guys. All right, let me go check on this again. Come on, just let me fly. Hey, that's my rune. Okay. So I've got... Is that all my pandemonium runes? Now I've just got to get to the abyss to go ground the abyss rune. Uh, I don't think there's a way to the abyss, like, right here. But I can just... I don't know. I can just exclude off, like, the boss chamber here. Because that won't have a way to the abyss. And then I can just go... Exploring, I guess. See if, oh wait, if there was a way to the abyss, I'd know about it, so I might just get out of here. Yeah, because Ash and Zari would let me know. It's all of a sudden, it's a random devil like Salter. <laughs> sure. I'll try to shadow this guy because not much else is effective against it. But it looked like the, it could have trouble with the Iron City of Dust with this character. Because judging by how hard it was to kill that single Hell Sentinel. Alright, well, this level doesn't have a way to the abyss, so I might just take the next one. Hey, this one does, though. So. 
Excellent. I can just head to the abyss and grab the rune. He said all of one, so I can't grab the rune until I get a little bit deeper. But I think this character's got everything they need to get the rune. It's really nice having everything kind of magic mapped out for me to a small extent. Oh, no, the shrine. If I go take it out. Oh, Legato, of course, makes sense. Yeah, you do get a lot of Legato altars in the abyss. Because, I mean, it is the home of Legato, right? Oh, hey, rune, straight away. Oh, who just drained my magic points? Did someone drain my magic points so that I used them all? That should have been a problem. Uh, what can I actually do here? Um... I can emulate some of these guys. But I've got to set them off with a... Uh... Quicksilver doesn't work for that, does it? I don't think Wolfing works the best either. Um... Especially since I don't have like a target on it here. No, because it spreads them out. Or it blows them up. They need like one more magic point. Oh, did I not pick up the ignition yet? Okay, I need another magic point. Uh... Oh, someone's definitely draining my magic points. I had some magic points there, and they just disappeared. Is it these guys? I think it is. Who is it then? Oh, it's this guy, isn't it? Yeah, it's that guy with the brain bite. I didn't see that guy before, but I guess it might have been there. I mean, something was certainly draining my magic points. Also, uh, rune. Are still there. So I don't have any magic points. Um, whoa. Wait, what just happened? Wait, did, was there a rune on the ground or something? Where? Oh. Okay. Sure, I mean, I can deport that, right? I'm gonna start a teleport. Take me to another region. Um, I'm gonna shatter these guys. Oh, that did not work. Oh, I damaged it badly, but no, that did not work. I'm gonna have to blink, unfortunately. I think. I got, at least I got some blinking. This guy's following me. Um, I think just retreating is the right thing to do. Whew, good. New region of the bus. Um, That's a way out, okay. That was a little bit of a stress where it did cross me a blink, but I got my rune in the end. Huh. Where next? Also, do I wanna I wanna try and maybe reset these mutations? I think these are definitely castable. Yeah, I'm gonna try for something a little bit better for these mutations. See if I can get it. I'm gonna send most of mutation. I might be able to. Less encumbered by armor. Um, Fodemon Cold doesn't matter. Spells are more powerful. If I can, if these work, then that's excellent. Oh yeah, five percent failure. That's excellent. Oh, look at my deck. So, whoops. Ah, oh, it's got strength on it as well. Um, okay. I could just put a basic fire to this ring, but then I lose the strength. Which means my spellcasting chance is going down a bit, but I'm not sure by how much. Also, do I actually have a ring of potential fire? Do I might give it a try? That's a bit sad. Oh well, shadow of change might also hurt my spellcasting. We'll see how it is. Hopefully, this is fine. 
Ooh, ten percent failing to shatter. Did that hurt the? Oh yeah. What's that level image too? Oh, look at the base values. Right, I could bring that earth back out without s making out uh, messing out the base values. I think. Um. Also, I was meant to get the ignition at some stage. Instead of, I don't know, cannonade, I think. Alright, so my days are looking a little bit better now. I'm just going to put on the potential fire, although I can put on something else. Like, a Because the top day I was need the potential for fire, so I might actually go with a default of intelligence, and else I'm going to fiery hell or something. Which means I'm going to have to leave that on uncursed, I guess. Alright, that makes my spellcasting chance a bit better. Let's go into the entrance to hell. I think I can shatter some of these guys. I seem to be killing them about the right rate. I don't know if this has distortion, but I don't think it's alive anymore, so <laughs> not too worried. Oh yeah, the spellcasting chance is actually getting better as I get my attributes restored, but can't always rely on those ones being restored in here or nothing. Um Do I want to do the tomb? I've got shatter and I've got, uh, where is it? I've got ignition right on, uh, 7%. I feel like those are both pretty good spells of the tomb. I got the lich form going as well. I could do the icy hell. Hopefully that wouldn't be a terrible idea. I don't know. I don't have enough magic points to really back that one up, do I? Maybe I do. Because the polar vortex would do something, but it wouldn't do that much. Oh, oh, we do have a polar vortex going. Good. I think I might have miscast it though the first time I tried getting it going. The shadow is also pretty good. Uh, actually, no, I could be pretty good because I got the polar vortex to deal with the ice strikes, guys. Yeah, let's give it a go. And I got shadow for everyone else. Ah, oh, right, the polar vortex still cool down. Uh, I still didn't get the Yars though, did I? Alright, I see. Means I could be petrified, which would not be great. Devices and companions. Oh, I have a G-shot uh, devices. I might just grab this. Do I want a ring of intelligence? I've got more. I've got more rings of intelligence. I, I can, I'll break it eventually. Yeah, when I get to doing the fiery hell, which I'll probably leave cool quite a bit later. I think it's getting a bit closer so I can just pull a vortex, so I think that's the right thing to do. Kinda out of magic points. Um got a few. I mean they are regenerating reasonably fast. But that's what I gotta be the most careful with here. I might just gotta oh, I guess I'll just pull a vortex that guy. Out of that guy. Don't want to be hip too much with that guy. All right. I have marked. I see. Uh, at least these hell levels tend to be small enough that getting marked doesn't give you too many extra enemies. Unless you get marked to like the last level of a. Uh, Tail level, that's a bit worse.
All right, next way down to level five. Uh, let's get, let it get a bit close. What's the chance of it? Oh, 2% of the patch fight. So yeah, it does actually have a chance even without uh, having to melee me, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, it's only 2%, but it still can happen. I've had 2% chance of stuff me up before. Do you, they do get multiple tries in it. Like they try, I don't know, every second turn or something. Can I just shatter the small? Is it worth it? Yes, so. It gets me where I'm trying to go a little bit quicker, but... Ah, sure. And about the deep water. It can be a little bit hard to see where the deep water is when I've got my polar vortex going. I think there was like an alarm trap there, but I think someone squid and stood on it. A lot of shrikes. They are getting beaten up fairly fast with the polar vortex, but then when the vortex wears off, be hard to kill them. Oh, my shield is down a little bit. I might bring that one back up as well. Yeah, it's me trying to bring a lot of these skills back up after I lost the curse. Although the new curse probably gave me something. Uh, it certainly brought my... Skill was my talisman back up to where it needed to be. This is not the last level yet. I feel like the last level could be hard not to run out of magic on. It's also the one that's... Oh, that's actually not too bad a layout. It's also the, like the hardest one to stand on. But this layout should be... Not too bad. Yeah, it's the one where you kind of... Uh, you got like a safe spot that you can hide back in. And then you've got the area where you get ambushed on both sides. Like kind of back in the more safe spot right now. This boss has a lot of health, um, like Antaeus or whatever they're called, so it's often hard to kill them without running out of magic points. Can't be a bit of a problem. I know, like, uh, Sith Marta characters uh, like, have an easier time because they get to channel magic in. And also Gozak characters, because they get to do potion effects without actually requiring the potions. I don't want to stand that cloud. It probably wouldn't even do anything to me. Yeah, I mean, my core this is up to Captain 3. I think it would actually go higher if it wasn't capped as well. Uh, oh, shout out these dudes. Right, so I've reached 27 back in the shields. So I can get armor. Or I can focus on some other spells. But I think armor is probably the most useful thing right now. I'll try to bring that one up. Yeah, I mean, these spells are all pretty castable. We'll get the spells more castable as well, which I guess is also a nice little side benefit. Uh, I don't think it's worth trying to burn this guy, because it's on its own, and I do have the spell that uh, burns everyone. Which I might actually go use right now, the ignition. But if I think about it, this character's kind of got all the uh, Ziggurat spells. Polar Vortex, Shatter, Ignition. I mean, what else do you need to do a Ziggurat, right? I feel like there was something else I had when I was doing a Ziggurat, but that's pretty much the list of Ziggurat spells. Uh, ooh, whoops, I think I might have made a hole. These guys to get through. Huh. 
There's water in the way. Oh, well, that's fine. It's funny how an ice feed dies best the ice out of all the things I've got available to me. I mean, I don't, do you even have like the fire and stuff? Just trying to kill it with ice and so it'd be really effective because it can't dodge this or anything. Uh, yeah, it does persistent damage to it. It's a good thing I've got like the four mods so that these ice fiends are kind of harmless because they don't really have any spells that I'm one for against them. Even if the ice does work, it's not exactly quick at killing them. I mean, that was the only reason I went in here is because I already had the lich form going. So it's like, oh, well, I've already got the immunity of torment and it's just, the knack of potions doesn't matter. So try to shatter it. Jelly is just silly, but I mean, I don't have range of the polar vortex to get over that water. But how far is this going to make me walk um, in order to get my rune? Probably quite a way. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this as a character. They can't fly because they usually specifically put fly on for doing these arrows. I mean, I guess I can kind of fly. Actually, that's not too much further. Right. There's a good chance that's in Teus. Um... There's one other sort of extremely dangerous uh, curing creature would I have here. Yeah, Teus. With a, oh no, random rage dagger. Okay, so don't let him get next to me because he has random rage. Sure. Um, he's not poison resist, though. Does just walk. Well, so I got so I can do to him. Maybe a permafrost eruption. Now nah, doesn't feel the most effective. We're going to run out of magic points at that rate. Let him fight himself for a while. Oh, wait, he can berserk up doing that, can't he? Huh. Well, at least he's in a net and his mildness berserk, so, like... <laughs> that was the way it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, he's got an Amulet of Faith and Dag, so I don't need a Speed Haste uh, Berserk Dagger. Do need his Rune? Actually, does a mirror? Mirror does have blood. It's just like the original. It's not like a spectral copy or something. It's an actual physical thing. Right, well, that's uh, this cosine is done. The rune collected. I think about 11 runes now. I'd say just not yet. I think Tartarus next. Oh. Gotta silence me up, come on. Got a little bit of skill with my ones, but I'm not exactly great with them. Uh... Yeah, silence is something you gotta watch out for in here. The boss is silence as well, so it's, it's all about silence. There's also just foul dead on some of these guys, uh, which is another thing I'd have to watch out for. Like that, because it's a metal that just got brought in. Can I burn it? Or was that G E? Can't auto explode because that'll take me into the silence. And I couldn't figure out a way to make the order explore and void the silence because that would be nice. I don't think I have any sort of characters that really want to auto explore the silence, but oh well. Oh, I need a couple more turns before I get my vortex back. Whoo, that looks like it needs a shatter. Oh, not in the silence.
Someone low on magic points. I think I'll be fine though. Kind of bring everything in and pull a vaulting six again because that's efficient and killing them with magic points. Alright, there's my staircase. It's in the silence, but it should be fine. Oh no, I'm gonna move back so I can kill these guys. Oh, I might actually kill the silence maker. I mean, I could probably just leave it, but like. I don't want it for when I come back, if I have to come back down here. Um, oh, I did get held. Yeah. Keep my eye out. Oh, there's a tizzle in the middle. Keep my eye out for one of those. Ah, held again. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another to this middle. I don't have a lot of magic points left. I might zap it with a... Nope, the one didn't do a lot. Come on, just let me rest up, please, guys. I have shards, fine. What am I on? Level 3, so in theory I could probably just leave if I needed to, but I think I got this under control. I don't think I need to get out of here immediately or anything. There we go, I can go down. Oh, um, that's fine. <laughs> just fine? Please don't make me go through the silence. I think I can maybe go around it, but it depends on the staircase. Oh, it does depend on the staircase is, but not looking promising. Also, the guy's not moving, which hopefully means it can't, but it might just mean it hasn't noticed me. Also, is there a model of them? Because that looks like a fairly strange shape here of silence. Oh, that was a teleport trap. Okay. Oh, let's go down. I don't want to deal with that guy. Oh, another teleport trap. Good old Ash and Zari's always keeping me alive here. Well, oh, keeping me out of the teleport traps at least. All right, let's go down again. And again, this is the last level, though. That doesn't do a lot. <laughs> you know, even if I didn't have immunity to that guy's miasma, I might be fine, because it can't really bring it out half the time anyway, because of my polar ball seeds that are going half the time. Oh, come on, Shannon has got to be more effective than that. I guess not. I did get held. I don't those look particularly scary, but I should still cast a pole of vortex, clean them all up. Yeah, it's not like that guy with the spell on dead. That was probably one of the scariest things in Tartarus, not counting the final boss. There is also like uh, little loot areas, except they don't have any good loot in them. Oh, maybe they sometimes do, but look at that. It's just like basic leather, money that you don't need. I guess it's not fake leather. Oh, the ring might be alright, because one of my rings is not that good. Uh, ring of ice. 
Do I need fire resist? <laughs> um, ring of ice is not that bad because I do use ice spells. I don't know if I can quite make that work for me though, unfortunately. <laughs> Except maybe I can. If I have a good staff. No, I don't. Okay, it's only one fire resist. Translocation, necromancy, alchemy. Uh, probably not. Oh, another teleport trap. Fancy that. Anyway, armor's where it needs to be. What do I want to get? Still a cryomancer, so I kind of want to keep that one. How's the base value of that spellcasting look? It's on 17. I can bring it up to 23, so if I grab an extra 3 points, it should definitely be fine. I might just try and shatter into here and grab the rune that way because I know exactly where the rune is. Like, I'm right next to it, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that perfectly opened it up and I can just port the rune, get out of here. Don't have to worry about a guy with silence if you don't have to fight them. All right, well, we're next, though. I mean, there's the Iron City of Dis, uh, and there's Tomb. I might go to Tomb. Oh, I'm dead Corrupt. I might do Corrupt and then Tomb. Uh, yeah, go to default level crypt, whatever. Oh, wait, corridors? I do the polar vortex and the corridors, not going to be particularly effective. back in my magic points. Overall, the crypt should be too hard because they kind of left it so quite late. And I've got the form that means I'm immune to any sort of torment in here. Things like curse skulls and curse tolls and stuff aren't too bad. And it does mean I've got all the resist negative I never need. And my only weak resist, which is fire resist, there's nothing in here that even does fire damage, I don't think. Do I actually need to fully explore this? I guess I will, but I don't think I need to. Because all, all I really need to do is get to the bottom. Oh, hey, Boris. Yeah, it's my second time seeing him, but he hasn't been that common this time around. Yeah, he's got a gold robe, which just doesn't compete with gold dragon armor. <laughs> It's not in terms of protectiveness. Even if you got like a normal march magic, I don't think it would make any sense for this character. What is that little dude? Green Draconian Skeleton? Sure. I didn't realize that Draconian Skeletons had colors, but I guess it makes sense that they all have colors. I think it's just the shapeshifters that turned on. No, wait, you can't find basic. Do you ever find brown draconians, like, as an enemy? I don't actually know if you do. Huh. Because you definitely find, like, the basic ones. You find the ones with jobs, but... Yeah, I don't think you find the uncolored ones, like the level, the level 7 ones. Oh, so that's the wrong spell, clearly. Because it's bringing up a targeter, which is not right at all for Shadow. That's how I did. I'm basically doing this place the same way as I did Falls 5. Just go down with the Polar Vortex and Shadow Ruin. I think I can kill Khufu. There we go. That's the sort of thing that would be a lot harder, though, if you didn't have the statue form, uh, not statue form, death form running. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I can bring it the whole level this way, that works for me, although it looks like that's as much as I can bring it. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Follow me back a little bit. Another teleport. I'm with other god. I got 25. I mean, that's plenty. That's because uh, I've only got hell left to do. I've done like the, the pandemonium, which is the place that tends to require the most of those, I think. Well, out of the extended areas. I know there's probably a few needed in tomb, but not a huge amount. Depending how I'm planning on doing it, but I'll probably use some. I don't think these do anything, do they? Let's see, they can bite for, no, headbutt for 16 damage. I kind of feel like in the skull, they more like these bite, but I guess headbutt, sure. Uh, let's try and shatter it. I mean, I'm not sure it's the most efficient way, but it works in that sort of range. Oh, hey, Grub. He got his howl on me. Uh, I might just shatter and then retreat back. Like, that's a lot less likely out here because they do have the three willpower, but it can still happen. Yeah, I mean, you kind of need like four, maybe even five to completely stop that one. I think it is one of the harder ones to resist. Ah, oh, stop the pole of logic. So I gotta kill these little doom houses before they do anything. There we go. This has actually been a reasonably high on torment sort of level, because you've had... Actually, I guess two mounts don't... They do kind of torment. They summon all the things that torment, right? Yes, yeah, so you had some tits and some medals. You've had the... Kufu and his bunch of royal mummies, that sort of thing. Oh, what's that guy got? Swamp Dragon Scales and Resist Electric. That's not going to save for my Polar Vortex. Uh... I can get a bit more spellcasting. You know what? Let's bring that spellcasting up to 27. Why not? It brings up my magic points, brings up my, well, brings down my failure. I can get a little bit of dodging too, but I'm kind of running out of skills here, aren't I? Unless I want to get some more spells. I did have Firestorm. I could grab that. Uh, it's currently 82% failure. Would that be more useful than some of the spells I've got? Could try and buy myself. Um, what's it called? Maximalist capacitive coupling. Because that one can be useful with uh, goes for the Iron City of Dust. Trying to get rid of some of those Iron Golems. It does take a while to get rid of each one, but it's very, very a magic efficient way of doing it, and. I mean, the only other spell that could probably actually compete in terms of time to kill them would be something like Shatter. Which I do have, but... I don't know. It's just what That's why I'm tossing up whether I get it or not, because when I've already got Shatter, that's like an okay option. Oh, I'll think about it. I've still got a little bit more spellcasting to trade in the meantime. Although, the Iron City just might be the next place I go off to tomb. It probably will be, actually. Because I think I'll leave the Fiery Hell to last for this character, because I'm not massively fire of this. Um, well, Polyvonix is obviously probably pretty good in there, but anyway, let's go to tomb. Hey, time what trap. Just as I went down the staircase as well, but it doesn't matter. Uh, also, I should probably... Head back to the staircase and clear it out from this corner. Ah, oh, that's looking pretty good. Uh, where's my next one? Gotta be careful these guys slowing me, but apart from that, I think I'm not too bad. I suppose I've also got to be careful of running out of magic points, but those are kind of the main threats here. Oh, 
almost simulate. They're not quite grouped up. I think I'll shatter instead. Uh, shattering it. Oh, it's polyphotics. Okay, shattering it's not going to do much. But when I go down, I should probably put on a pole of Vortex. It's probably going to be quite effective when all the things go around me. It will help get rid of some of the bad news, I think, with the pole of Vortex. And then Shatter can get rid of everything else. Well, make sure Shatter and Ignition. Uh, yeah, Ignition. Oh, what's shadow of no one around, but it's all right. Yeah, because you could do that, which makes sense, because you can break walls with it, so it makes sense you can cast it without the enemy. I might, uh... Be nice if I could figure out which of the staircases is the one to skip the second level, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Hopefully there'll be enough of this level remaining to kind of work it out. Because sometimes it's a little bit hard to figure out uh, which staircase is which. Um, like which one was the one in the center that everyone gets to go to. And which one is the ones that you can just get to because you shattered. it. All right. I don't want to go too much down that side, otherwise it could end up popping mummies out of the walls. On the plus side, though, I can't detect if there's mummies in the walls before I can't shatter, but it doesn't mean I'll... I won't accidentally shatter it open anyway. Oh, you can see the level's like, mole formed like it used to be a perfect square around the outside. Not so much anymore! Now it's got a little spots where it's shattered. Uh, I go take the inside wall way down. Some dude, tough dude, they'll pop over the wall. Right, was that? That was accessible by the inside, right? So I think that's what I don't want to go. Oh, no, that wasn't. It's one I could go down, I think, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, there's a lot of guys. I might just uh, find another way in there. Like this way will do. So we're a bit closer to running back to my staircase. Slowed. Uh, it's probably fine. So as as there's nothing just off screen to come running after me. I think the most likely one actually, yeah, I think this is the most likely one to land in an unexplored area, so I might take it down. Oh, didn't. Oh, well. Fine. Uh, staircase is this way. I just reached 27 the uh, spell casting, so I need to get get a little bit of dodging, but I was gonna get some sort of spell. What was I even gonna get? I don't even know. Uh Firestorm? Oh, Maxwell's capacity coupling the air spell. Right. Yeah, definitely add that to my list of things to get. Okay, so that's the case is out. So this one's the skip one, although I probably popped the door anyway. Uh, the... Oh, I have popped the wall, so it doesn't really matter which one I take. Oh, Zot oh, Zotra did my magic. That's an up one, right? Pretty sure. And I'm like, red contamination. Oh, goodbye, Ed. Goodbye, Dex. If my contamination is gone, spells are still 2% failure, so I can go back down. 
Actually, I might just go back down this one into the center. Uh, yeah, we can see a lot of things popping here. That's doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, I'll take this one back down as well. Right, shake out the uh, uh, Kawhi, but I should, should kill this guy first. Shadow vaguely works for this guy, but nowhere near as well as Paul of Vortex. So this is offering me Crystal Blade Armor. Got the Gold Dragon Armor charged up already. Uh, stuff here I've got. I'll just take the money. It's not that I need the money or anything, but I don't need anything else, so... Whatever. Uh... Dude, I might buff up before I go down with, like, some Brilliance or something. Yeah, let's do that. Just Brilliance is good. Okay. What else have we got here? Not too bad. I'm contaminated again, though. Uh, no, well. Get anything before this brilliance wears off? I'm not sure I really can. Ah, oh, the brilliance is gone. I might just get to the staircase. But that cloud out the main bulk, I think. I should be able to find my Ziggurat in here somewhere. So we've got a helmet of two willpower. I've got a helmet of intelligence still, but that was not terrible. Got a ring of uh, minus willpower. Oh, that's not quite right. And what else has got? Cold resist. I don't need intelligence and five, five slings. And maybe if you're on some sort of melee character, you might be able to make it work. But not this character. Also, I don't see my Ziggurat on the side. It must be the other side. And the ignition did come in very handy this time around, which is great. So I probably need an inventory space. I got, uh, it's got so many random rings. I don't really need the face because I don't... Uh, I got two of them anyway. Actually, this is a mildly use, more useful one. I might keep it around. Resist negative is pretty useless. Excellent. There we go. Got a got a rune. So I've got I've got more places to go. I'd see you just get hit her. Um Right. Do I still I mean I'm gonna have to go to the Iron City of Dis right now, so it might not make any sense to uh, not dungeon. What is this? I'll just go to hell, I'll find it on my own. My problem's going to be running out of magic points slow, but I think everything else is fine. That helped a little bit getting the dodging. Uh, I could try for... No, I'm not going to go for an invocations title. I'm going to go with the Karyomancer one, definitely. Um, I mean, what else do I have to work with apart from dodging? I might... Yeah, I might try for the... Yeah, see how that goes. Got a few enhancers, so I might better get it going. In fact, I should... Oh, I should kill this guy to memorize it. Ninety nine percent failure, but it might get going. Uh interrupt us, right. I see. Ooh, four decks. Um I mean the Amazon of Faith is decks. It's so hard to swap it or thing. I might just go down, but that could become a problem. Good, it doesn't drain my decks anymore.
It don't make me go up. Um, I can't like afford to go back up because then I get some maybe some more dank strain on the way back down. And I've already got enough of that. Uh... Oh, so all I can get it back out of that one. Out of the sky. Ugh, need one more turn for the vortex back again. I don't have the magic points here. There's no way this guy dies. Um, but it is slower than me, so I think I just casually go up this way. How do I get rid of that other guy? Doesn't matter which one of us gets warped here. Uh, probably Shadow's going to death now. There we go. Yeah, it didn't take much. It's just I didn't have any magic points. All right, next level. I've got seven decks now to so turn all right. We did some brilliance on right now. That would be nice, but I didn't put any on before I came down. Huh. I might have to go up. What am I on? Level 5? Oh. Uh... Oh, I think I do have to go up. Shame. Okay. How many brilliant potions do I have? I might be able to use some of those on the way down, down but oh, what's it draining? Strength, that's fine. Okay. Might go try to get rid of some of that. Halifax. This guy's harmless. Tag it out until the other ones come along. What I don't want to do is like rob myself out of magic points on this level or something. Uh... Really? Okay, I can bring my Vortex back fairly quickly. So I've got a reasonable amount of armor class despite it being drained. Like, it's still on 50, which is yeah, actually pretty amazing for a spellcaster. Well, I guess I can go down. I've got most of the hell effects gone. Uh, oh, I maybe still should have put on the Brilliance, but I think it'll be fine. Man, I might put on Brilliance before I go down in future levels, because I think it's not worth risking not having it on. Um... Yeah, but I've already got three, but whatever. Okay. Do I need a blink here? I think I just shatter again. Those are kind of my two options, so I didn't have a lot of options. Okay. Shatter again. I think I can go down to the last level. Oh, maybe I should have put some brilliance on. Oh, well. Oh, we certainly should have. I gotta add my form. I hope that's fine. And I'm gonna put on some uh, magic potion. I'd like to get my form back on, but I guess I'll have to deal with this guy first. There we go. That's been a sneaky form transforming in the middle of combat. Well, kind of in the middle of combat. I mean, that guy was on screen for most of it. Um, Could 
Quite kill this guy, but the next polar vortex should take it out. There we go. Let's try to hide there a little bit, get a little bit of magic points back, and it kind of worked. Gotta be closer to where I need to be. Oh. Uh Yeah, I need more magic points, all right. I still have polar vortex when I get the back again. Turned out to be the right thing, because it killed more than one guy. Okay, well, I can pull a to this guy as well. I don't know where the boss is yet, but I vaguely recognize this layout. I think I just got to go up and into here somewhere, and there'll be a boss. Don't know exactly where, but somewhere. Nope, not dead. It still had like a side even of health left. Uh -huh. I'm not trying to target a specific one. I feel like this spells a single target on. Uh, I really keep it up at this point of the game. It's all about the AoEs. Someone's hiding some treasure. I think no, it's just a random treasure room. It's not the ones around the rune or something. Oh, I probably actually don't need the air magic. I mean, I've got basically all the way there now anyway. But uh, what? not that. I need to get the. I need to get the dodging instead. I think. Yeah, if it's the max was actually on four percent already, but I feel like Shadows definitely be doing the trick, so I didn't really need the Maxwells. But it might work on the boss, although Shadow might work just as well on the boss, so who knows? I think it's just this way. Not entirely sure. I might as well. Uh, I think I started teleport. Probably draw the things in again with the mic, but. That's all right. Um, that's a lot of guys. Uh, right. What can I do to extend how my mag uh, useful my magic points are? Oh, mirroring that guy didn't really help. I think he actually, you know, mirroring that guy was a silly idea because it's going to go away when I shatter. Can I weaken this guy? Vaguely, but not very effectively, unfortunately. Oh, if, ah, that wasn't the right thing to do it. I tried to, like, irradiate it, but of course it's too armored for that. Oh, why did that come up? 
I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I'm just sort of using mods on these guys because I can. And it saves the magic points. But okay, where's the boss? Oh, this is boss team, this is the right here. Be careful, those are love traps. I've already set one of them off. Don't need to set any more off, I don't think. But there are enough of them in here. Okay, so that's probably the boss. Hey, that's a rune. I don't actually need to find the boss. I can just do... Is it D? Fire flotation? That. I just yanked the rune. My rune. I'm out of here. So I've got the fiery rune from uh, Gehenna left to go, which I'm going to have to swap some stuff around, I think. So I probably do want a little bit more fire into this. So uh, unfortunately, that means shattering the chains on... Probably the intelligence. Yeah. Oh well, it was a good intelligence ring, but goodbye intelligence ring. Just go check. Oh, I'm lacking my shape shifting. Uh, well, this is slightly down, but not much. Ice is still up. Right, fighting and spellcasting is slightly down because I broke the curse, but that's fine. I need to. I need to set a target. Oh, not that. I need to set a target. Much ah. Clearly doing all the wrong keys for 23 and try to get that one back up. Yep, the polar vortex, just as I thought, is actually fairly effective in here. None of these guys seem to be too resistant or anything. Fortunately, the chat is not quite as good because some of the things fly. Well, not everything, but it's still all right. <sighs> so much disposal for that one trap as well. Uh... But I think, yeah, actually this hell, I think I might be too scared of this hell, but it still made sense to do it last because of um, the fact that I had to break up my rig and stuff and lose a curse at the end. Oh, good. Staircase. Excellent. That's what I want to see. Ooh, actually, I might shatter. I know it doesn't help with the, one of those guys. Uh, magic points are looking awfully low. I'm only on level 3. I might just go up. Do I tell if things get on the way down, though? I might regret this, or I might not. It doesn't look too bad. What's your devices? Do I want to just recurse this one up? I mean, I probably should actually. Yeah, I mean, there's more fire into somewhere. That tells us that good. The spell goes like fighting it back up. Earth magic's back up. Basically, everything's back up. Oh, in fact, even my shape shifting's back up. So I could go do dodging again. Try and trickle that. Uh. Evade it up just a little bit. What's this guy doing? It could run up to me, it just didn't want to. Oh well. It's like, nah, not today, not today, not gonna do anything today, it's gonna stand there. I don't think it even had someone it was going for, did it? Yeah, all doesn't matter. Next level. Well, I'm actually down a little bit my decks. Of course. It's always going to be the decks that's the problem, though, because that's the one that I'm the lowest on. Like, the other ones are going to have a hard time getting drained anywhere near zero. Oh, it didn't want to step in the polar vortex. No wonder it was just standing there. Like, this one did it as well. It was moving towards me until I polar vortex, and it was like, nah. Ooh, five. Okay, I'm on the last level though. Five decks. I'm probably fine. I 
But I guess it's like a, a mobile firestorm that wouldn't really want to go into a polar vortex. That's kind of... I didn't realize that enemies are quite that smart, though, because they're usually not that smart. They usually just run straight into clouds and all sorts of things. It might be a bit too much lava, or can I get over this? Oh, I might try to get over this, actually. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Got a little bit of uh, draining there. It's probably fine, though. Does make it a little bit hard to get back, because I don't think, uh, don't think I can, like, swap any rings or anything to get flight back. Uh, I could just go in anywhere here. I might just go in here. Got a ring of the unstoppable moons on it. Got resist electric. It's got intelligence. Minus three strength, plus six decks. Oh, that's... That's not the worst thing ever. It's got decks on it. If I didn't need the fire this one, then that might be an option. Oh, that's not it. What even is K that I tried accidentally casting? Oh, eruption. Permafrost eruption, oh yeah. I mean, that would probably actually be effective in here. I might, might do it on some of these guys. So many corridors. That's fine, though. Uh, There's mainly open spaces, but there was a corridor there. Come on, what is going on? Oh, I can't pull the vortex, it's recharging. Sure, that's fine. What's the way to the boss? Wait, Chattering that guy doesn't do it. It's like, also, I might as fire this over. I got one fire this. I should maybe back up a little bit. I have a feeling that I'm pretty close to the boss here, so... <sighs> Imagine I just like to uh, yoink this rune. I'm not sure I know exactly where the rune is to do that. Oh yeah, I can hear the boss talking. Do I just... Oh wait, the boss is right there. Oh, I got his attention. That's not quite what I meant to do. I wanted to buff, but... That's not quite an option anymore, is it? Alright, I guess I just pull the vortex. Now let's get rid of a summons, which is something at least, because I know that those can be a problem. But I would have loved to put on like a bit of uh, haste and brilliance prior to like, going in and fighting him, but that's fine. Excellent. And is that my last rune? I think so. It looks like we're doing pretty well on the runes today. Yeah, so let's just go to the exit out of here, get out of here, go to... Oh, what do we have? Got... I think I've done that. Prior since the title I was after. I'll just double check I haven't had that one, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, just make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Cryomancer. I mean, it's spelled the fairly obvious way. Okay. Oh, that was wrong. Yeah, bothered like that. That's oh, okay. Yeah, it's still saying no crime answer. I mean, I guess it is only like a level 20 or whatever it is um, title, so it's not a huge level. Yeah, uh, what is it? No, 24. Actually, that's reasonably high. I'm surprised I haven't got that one before. I guess I just never got to it. Anyway, let's grab the room orb and get out of here. Yeah, what? Miscast? Okay. Angels are a little bit dangerous when I've got my... All the vortex on. I'm just going to take this way out. I know that I could have... Uh... Oh, wait. I can't fly. What am I doing? 
<laughs> Seems like a bit of a silly way of getting out of there, but if it works, it works, I guess. Huh? Gotta go? Yeah, this is the reason I got my four mods to stop those guys managing to torment me. Otherwise, I'd probably take it off because uh, it'd be nice to re uh, drink potions. <sighs> Whatever, I'll just shout at that guy. Oh, is that guy flying or something? I don't know, maybe. Uh, I think that goes buys me enough space to get to the staircase. It's the pole of onyx swapping its side. It's always really nice when it does that. Well, it's not always really nice when it does that. Sometimes it puts it somewhere where you really don't want it. Oh, hey, Serebov. Well, goodbye, Serebov. <laughs> That's, I think, my third time seeing him. What does this guy do? Oh, it's fast. It flies. I might have started a pole of vortex and just get to the staircase. Not my first pandemonium rune on the, uh, not rune, I mean, not my first pandemonium lord of this character. I don't know where that, what that guy is, but it doesn't matter. And this is the exit, so I should just get out of here, because I've already got the title I want, yeah. Alright, well, that was a, that was actually a pretty fun game. And getting gold dragon armor, because of course I've gold dragon armor, was really nice. Yeah, that was fun, I like that. I, I think these dwarves are really fun, I like them. <laughs> I actually prefer them as mages, I think, slightly to melee. I don't know, only six hours? I mean, that's reasonably slow, but it's pretty good for a mage, I think. I think, I, I think definitely go to these mages as, uh, these dwarves as mages and just get spellcasting and heavy armor. Like, sure, you don't start in heavy armor, but by the end, you'll be in heavy armor. Especially with Ash and Zara, your skills are all buffed up. No, those are great. I recommend this combo to anyone that wants to do it. Well, I might actually finish up around there. Uh, it's a shame that Tanners couldn't make it today, but that's fine. Oh, it looks like... Looks like Dumont Dow is streaming Caves of Cud. I might go... I actually might go raid him. Actually, I'll double take that no one's doing Cruel right now. Nope, no one. I might go raid him. That sounds like a fun game. 